Today we explore the Blueberry Academy, become a champion, and explore long forgotten secrets in the full game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero, part two, the Indigo Disc. Let's get started. We're back here and we're getting a call. So this is just where we left off at part one. This is Clavel. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master Zebra? Hi, Dr. Clavel. My, my. It certainly does this old heart good to be greeted with such a lovely response. Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, there is something we must discuss. Master Zebra, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. You already know of the Innova region's Blueberry Academy, I presume? Uh, what's that? I only know of Uva Academy. Oh, now this is a surprise. I had heard you were taking part in our joint trip with that fine school. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I guess we were with Blueberry Academy a little bit. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine, and he told me that he would be delighted to host you as an, an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? Though I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still, I think it best that you meet with the, the, the man at least once to find out what he might be thinking. He is admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. I'll be there with you when you meet him. Once you feel ready to respond to, the, to his offer, I ask that you come by my office so we can discuss the specifics together. Now, I won't take up any more of your time. Do take care until we speak again. All right, well, that's exactly what I want to hop into straight away. So go to the academy. To do that, I guess we, uh, I don't know, change back over here? I think so. I think we have to fly over this way as much as we can, and maybe there'll be a way to fly back. I think so. If I'm remembering correctly, if we zoom out a little bit. Maybe not, though. I'm not quite sure if there's an easier way to do this. We'll find a way out of here, get back to the academy, and talk to Director Clavel. Whoa, who's this? Hmm, who do we have here? I know, I've seen your face somewhere before. Who were you again? The name's Zebra. Oh, that's right, you're Zebra. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's get going. Wait, wait just a moment, Director Serena. Oh, hello there, Belly. You're as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course I'm here. As director of this academy, where else would I be? And do address me more properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Anyway, what's the matter? This is the student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... Ah, I do apologize, Master Zebra. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Cyrano of Blueberry Academy. As I mentioned on the, on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Cyrano. Er, did I not mention that? One lucky you, 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 our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. <laughs> Speaking of which, why do you, did you request Master Zebra specifically to take part in your exchange program? Excellent question, Belly. It's very simple. You see, the reason is. Uh, hmm. why did I put in that request? Does he not remember? Oh, that's right. The school's trip to Kitakami. Zebra met some of my students there, didn't he? Yes, we did. Yes, yes, one of them was named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Director Cyrano. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You would be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Well, if anything can be said about Director Cyrano, it's that he has a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there, but only if you're willing to, of course. Think of it as a chance to further expand upon your treasure hunt. I wish I could accompany Master Zebra, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stat. 
You will watch over him, won't you? Oh, of course. I'd never let anything happen to one of your students. I hope this experience leads you to even more you can treasure. Best of luck to you. All right, well, looks like we're off onto a new adventure. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. All right, well, I'm ready to go right about now. So we've right at our destination. Make your way to Blueberry Academy right in front of us, as you can see right here. I don't know if it'll have like a specific quest thing. So we're just gonna go and talk to you. Are you all ready to kick off your studies abroad at Blueberry Academy? Yes, I am. Great, then let's get going. Whoa, that was fancy. All right. Off we go to a whole new academy. So now is the time to begin the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Part two, the Indigo Disc. I had a ton of fun with part one, the teal mask, but now we begin the second part of our adventure and it looks amazing. Whoa, so futuristic. Ta-da, we're here. Welcome to my grand Blueberry Academy. Whoa, we're in the middle of the ocean. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? It really is. Oh, and did you notice? Look at how blue the place is. I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Let's see, what else? Uh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me? Why is the rest of the school underwater? Really, that's what you're curious about? Well, it's very simple. You see, it's, uh, it's because the school building is attached to an undersea plant that develops natural resources, right? That's what I've heard. Yes, right, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do, Zebra is here as part of the exchange program. Make them feel welcome, eh? Hold on, this is the exchange student from the Paldea region? I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second year students here. You must really be something special, you know? It's rare for Director Cyrano to remember the name of a new student. <laughs> wow, thank you. Ha, huh, just call me out, why don't you? Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? You, you want me to do it? Well, yeah. You know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Oh, please don't take it like, it's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Cyrano just had this bad habit of pushing his duties onto me, you see? And it's just not right. Really letting me have it today, aren't you? That said, this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. That decides it. I will take on this task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge and to the entrance. On you go. All right, so looks like we have ourselves a new academy to explore. Head to the entrance. Before we do, I'll talk to people. You can get a gorgeous view of the sunset from this walkway, you know. Just head straight to the entrance, Zebra. What about what else is around here? I guess there's like other students and stuff to talk to, but I'm sure they'll be around later. Yeah, I guess they're just sort of doing their own thing. So let's get to it. This is so cool. Hi guys, need more Pokeballs? Man, no matter how many Pokeballs I have, it's never enough. All right, so I don't know if they'll say anything too crazy important. We have a lot of trainers out here though. Whoa, so you can just Pokemon battle out here, it looks like. Not bad. Everything is just so fancy here. The school budget must be through the roof. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. 
we hold official matches on this central court right here at the entrance, and then a student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. Oh really? I think it's safe to say you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Exactly, couldn't have said it better myself. Director Cyrano, I think it's per perhaps it's fine if you just leave the tour to me. <laughs> Still, it's really relaxing here, with the sea breeze blowing over you, even, even when no one is battling. You often see students lazing about in the stands. Oh, 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 and there's one other quality of our school that you'll likely find very surprising. Wild Pokemon sometimes terrestrialize here. Really? Oh, I suppose that's not anything special to someone from Paldea, is it? The terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and er, than you and your Terra Orbs. We've developed some neat tech ourselves, something that lets us control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turf. Whoa. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? Of course. Um, sir, I think it will be easier to understand how all that works after we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pin in that thought, thought Always thinking ahead, that's our Lacey. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. What, right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Zebra here is capable of. And our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club we have going here. Really? To say nothing of the influence of her father, one of the Unova region's famed gym leaders. I bet you'll learn a thing or two. Oh, I wish you wouldn't go spreading personal information without asking first. It's just not right. Give me a good show now, you two. I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with the director Cyrano once he gets an idea in his head. There's no way that he'll move on with the tour until we've given him this battle. Besides, I have to admit, I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give one a try to get to know each other a little better. Oh really, so we're going against a double battle, so we both throw out two Pokemon? All right. I hope I have my team set up, I actually have no clue. But we're about to go on our first battle of this DLC and at Blueberry Academy, you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Lacey. Very cool. And they send out a uh, Pustle and a uh, Minus, Mini, something like that. <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. Uh, I suppose I'm representing Blueberry Academy in this battle. I'll try not to disappoint. All right, it's a uh, Minin and Plusle. Very cool, so we have Palmat and Yasquarada here. Maybe not the craziest combination, but with our level lead, I think we could do a thing or two. So let's take on Minin right here. I don't really know the typing of these two Pokemon, but it really does show that things are gonna be pretty exciting here because we'll be running into new Pokemon pretty consistently, I have to imagine. All right, so Yasquarada will use Flower Trick against the Plusle. And it almost knocked them out. It was a critical hit and everything, but not quite the full takedown. That was quite the harsh blow. Let's see, now how should I turn this around? All right, Palmas gonna use close combat, and ooh, that's the one to take down. All right, not too bad so far. And then he's gonna faint from that one, so that's our first Pokemon knocked out. And we get some good experience from it too, so it looks like we actually have our intended team. They used a super effective move there. Looks like my plus minus strategy isn't working. Guess it's time to go all out with pure strength. Excadrill, uh oh, might have to change up my team here in a moment, but Excadrill is something I think we've seen before, maybe in this game, maybe not, hard to keep track at this point. We'll use close combat against to see how it goes, but for right now, I think we should just use grassy terrain, or maybe just dark pulse against puzzle, just something to see if it'll do any better, but it'll definitely be enough to knock you out. There we go, puzzle is fainted, and now it's just us and Excadrill until uh, Lazy throws out another Pokemon. So already getting thrown into the heat of battle and getting some level ups for it. Meowskarat is now level 89 and a super effective close combat against Excadrill knocks it out. Oh, would you look at that. You go right after those type of weaknesses, don't you? Yes, we do. All right, and that was it. Okay, so we defeated all three of Lacey's Pokemon to get ourselves a win here at Blueberry Academy. Well, you beat me soundly. We get a lot of money for winning too. That's awesome. Spectacular. You really are quite skilled. I wish I could have seen you terrestrialize one of your Pokemon though. I'd love to see how someone from Paldea does it. 
the students here at Blueberry Academy were only re recently issued terror orbs, uh, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well done to the both of you. You really battled it out Blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel like you fit right in as soon as you you're dressing the part. Okay, cool, I was hoping we'd get some kind of new clothes. Whoa, look at us. Sort of like a sailor vibe to it, I like it. It suits you beautifully. Now that's what I call a fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. You obtained the Indigo Style Card. You put the Indigo Style Card in your bag's key items pocket. Indigo Style Card. Having one of these cards increases the selection available to you in boutiques and hair salons. That should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons and such in Paldea. Now that you look the part, hopefully you'll hopefully and hopefully feel it too. Why don't we head into the school? You can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I can show you the Pride of Blueberry Academy, our world famous terrarium. That sounds awesome. So we'll go ahead and catch up with them there. But before we do, I wanted to see if maybe we could change out our outfit a little bit more. I don't know if that's possible at the moment, but I would like to if we could maybe change our hairstyle a little bit. I don't think we have the the option right now though. I'm pressing all the different buttons. It doesn't seem to be available. All right, so we'll talk to you two just to see what else is going on. We should visit the terrarium next. Just select at the gate and we'll be off. You're a strong one. Excadrill is a lot speedier than it looks, but you handled yourself well. Thank you very much. And I'm glad we got a couple level ups for it. So we just talked to you. Welcome to Blueberry Academy. You can get to the school facilities using the gates on either side of this desk. Okay, so I'll just use this one. Where do you want to go? Uh, I guess for right now the terrarium, an undersea nature park where you can learn about Pokemon as you explore its four biomes. That sounds awesome. Let's go. Whoa, so it's like a big tunnel. Guess we'll head down this way. I do like her outfit so far, the backpack is really neat. Can I ride? Oh, I can ride, ride in here. And then it immediately forces me off of them. Whoa. It is way bigger than I expected. There's whole mountains in here. Hard to believe we're underwater at the moment. Take a look at this. This is crazy. You go to school here every day? This is it, the park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world. Our very own terrarium. We may be underwater, but the projectors built into the walls and ceiling make it feel like we're actually outside, don't they? We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology. I designed this all myself. And believe me, it wasn't cheap. Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. Here we have the nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. Ooh, nice. Then, off to your right, you can see the breezy tropical coastal biome. Further out to your left, you'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. Last but not least, way out in the distance, we have the arctic and snowy polar biome. All right. Each biome's air temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you can find completely different Pokemon species living in each area. We sure put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, Zebra, which biome tickles your fancy off the bat? Ooh, well, knowing me, I think it has to be the subtropical savanna biome. It's a very familiar sort of environment, isn't it? The open stretches of land make it very easy to observe how the Pokemon are living. If you need to heal up your team while you're down here, feel free to use the self-serve healing machines we've installed around the terrarium. Now then, Director Sierna, can you explain to us why the crystals from here, and or to us why crystals form here, and how the wild Pokemon are able to terrestrialize? I, huh? Don't you know already, Lacey, that, oh, I get it, you want me to do the talking. In that case, let me show you. The reason is actually right above our heads. Whoa, what is that? That there is the terrarium core, which presides over all that happens in the terrarium. It contains a fluid that we've jam-packed full of a special material from Paldea. It's constantly emitting terrestrial energy, 
That's what allows Pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful, well said, sir. That's exactly right. Though, I still don't know what that special material is within the Terrarium Core itself. It's never been shared publicly, has it? Oh, ho, ho. you want to know? Well, in fact, it's, it's, did he forget again? Now, what was it? I've plumb forgotten. Briar put out all of it together, so I'm not certain myself. That's what I thought you might say. Oh, looks like an incoming message. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. Whoa, okay. Oh, it looks like you're just in time to see a class session too. This is too good of a chance to pass up. Won't you join us, Zebra? You can, can get a first taste of our school's classes. Sure. Tee <laughs> I do love to see that sort of a passion for education. I'll go ahead and register the terrarium map to your Rotom phone for you. Oh, that's perfect. The terrarium map has been added to your map app. So now we can know where we're going. It's fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on or on your own, and I think I'd be more of a hassle than anything if you had me holding your hand. So, yep, that settles it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Wait, sir, you don't. But I've made sure that a dorm room has been all set up for you, Zebra, so don't forget to give it a visit later. Oh yes, and one other thing. Could you open your Pokedex app for me? Of course. The Bulgari Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. That's awesome. Catch as many Pokemon he here in the terrarium as you please. Don't be afraid to go Salzburg wild. It's your student life here at Blueberry Academy, so remember to live it up to the fullest. And there he goes. Well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me. So there's no call for concern. It's probably time we both head to class. I'll be waiting for you to join us in the coastal biome. All right, off we go then. It's <laughs> just waiting for us over there. <laughs> the cute little wave. I'll be there in just a moment then. So the coastal biome is our first goal, but I figure we'll sort of explore a little bit on our way over. That might be the most fun way to do it. All right, so let's get going. The first thing I'm really interested in is this like very cube shaped area, the Savannah biome and the terrarium. Attend a class on the coastal biome and we can take a look at the map now and you can see there's Pokemon all over the place. This place is just one big circle, but it's huge. There's so much to it. So if we wanted to go to the coastal biome, it's way over here. So a class in the coastal biome. Head to the coastal biome and sit in a class at Blueberry Academy. Will do. And hey, it's you, just like that, perfect. We know you, we saw you in our last DLC adventure. How are you? And of course, you too. Taking more photos, I see. Hey, wait a minute, don't I know you from somewhere? That's right, my old partner. How are you, partner? I mean, Zebra. Whoa, Perrin. That's right, good old Perrin is still kicking around. You're doing well yourself, eh? I sure appreciated all the help you gave me back in Kitakami, tracking down that Blood Moon Beast. I never thought I'd ju just bump into you like this. How about I teach you a new pose to celebrate? You learned the looking good emote from Perrin. Oh, but what about that Growlithe I entrusted to you? Is he doing all right? I hope you put him on your team sometimes and do a bit of adventuring together. Aw. So. You're here as some extra, ex or some exchange student, huh? Nice. What a coincidence. I just started working here, as a photographer, of course. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is, right? Though I'm still sort of waiting to hear if the school likes my work, to be fair. They say they want snapshots at the terrarium and the students and all, the, all for the upcoming marketing stuff. So how about some photos of you? Ah, speaking of photos, I've got a hot tip I could let you in on. Oh really? What's up? But if I told you, I bet you'd just go running right off. 
How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon in the terrarium. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If I make enough headway in my work by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll share my hot tip. All right. That sounds pretty cool. So I guess just like in the last one, whoa, we got a Zep Strike, it's so cute. I definitely want to catch one of them. But just like in the last DLC, we need to catch a certain amount of Pokemon in this area to progress that certain quest. But that's okay for now. We could heal for Pokemon, but I think we're all feeling just fine and dandy for now. So we can keep it moving. Whoa. Looks like there's new Pokemon to catch, but how many of them are actually new additions to this Pokedex? Like, we already have Venomoth, so we don't have to go too crazy with that, but I do see over here, this should be an Execute. Whoa. So as we're traveling over to that coastal region, if we find anything new like the Execute or maybe some different trainers and stuff, I definitely want to take the opportunity to try to catch them, battle them, whatever we need to do to have some fun. So let's throw a quick ball at Execute and see if we can't just get a quick catch here. Our first catch of this DLC in Blueberry Academy is gonna be Execute. Awesome. So there we go. And as you can see, we'll, we'll also get some extra experience. I don't know how much of that we'll actually need, but Pokedex number three, execute registered. An egg Pokemon, grass psychic type, using telepathy, only follow, follow execute can pick up on, they always form a cluster of six. All right, no nickname, we're just gonna send you to a box for now, but that is number three out of our Pokedex. And I'm sure there's, yes, yeah, some that we've already technically caught just because they're in other regions as well. But if there's new things, like you are a, uh, something, I forget your name, Rhyhorn. Yeah, there we go. Then I see a Doduo behind you. That'll be really cool. For right now though, it's all about just throwing out quick balls. We'll probably want to buy more of them sooner or later. But come on, can we get another easy catcher? Will you pop out of there? Boom. See, a lot of battling, catching Pokemon, and all sorts of stuff is on the to-do list in this new area. But for right now, we we'll get ourselves a new Pokemon in the Pokedex. Number five, Rhyhorn. The Spikes Pokemon is a ground rock type. Once it starts running, it won't stop, even if it crashes through boulders. This disp disposition is what's caused its habitat to expand. Interesting. All right, well, we're gonna put that away in the box. And that'll be another addition to our Pokedex. Right there. Excellent. Now, if we keep it moving, I see a Doduo who's not paying attention to us too much. So we can throw a Poke Pokeball out there and hopefully, just catch it by surprise, get an easy catch once again. Doduo is a little bit higher level than the other Pokemon we run into, it's level 65. Will that give us an issue? Or will we get another quick catch three in a row? Awesome. But yeah, hopefully I can find more of the uh, Zed Strikers. that'd be super exciting. All right, extra experience there too. Number one, Doduo. The twin bird Pokemon is a normal flying type. Its heads never sleep at the same time. Each one takes turns keeping watch while the other sleeps, switching every hour or so. Interesting. Already learning lots of new things about the different Pokemon we can catch here. So we need to ev evolve a lot of the Pokemon that we're catching right now if we want to further them. Oh no, in the Bogodax, I didn't see you there. Okay, for you, just for the sake of saving time, I might run away. So we got plenty of other stuff to get to. All right, so if I run over here, do I have this Scyther? I do have Scyther. So let's go ahead and hop on Maridon and see what else we can do. Oh, Clefairy. No, Chansey. <laughs> uh, how about a double battle? Yeah, that's right. We're just gonna run into more and more double battles. Think you're good at double battles? Why don't you test that theory by battling me? I would love to. All right, here we go. You are challenged by Darius the Student. That was pretty confident. Darius the student sent out to Duo and uh, something. I didn't see the name of it, but I think we've battled it before. Um, Volibee. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Discharge, I guess, against, oh, not everybody. Maybe we'll just do Nuzzle against either of them. We'll do a lot of damage. And then you can do just Dark Pulse against Doduo. There we go. Boom, that'll be a one hit takedown. Oh, and I do see a. Uh, a vendor nat over there. We've already caught one though, so I don't think we have to worry about it. The nuzzle against Volibee is super effective, but not enough to knock you out. It will paralyze you though, so that's a good opportunity to, or opportunity to maybe do something else. It couldn't move because of that paralyzation, so let's go again. And do you have any more Pokemon? It doesn't seem like it, so we'll just use Close Combat here to finish you off. And uh, Flower Trick, it's not very effective, but one of these will happen. I guess we'll do this one first. Ready, and boom, almost there, come on. 
One more hit from Palmot should finish you off, and there we go. Our first sort of, you know, out in the wild trainer battle is completed. All right, well, good to see it. You don't have to tell me twice. You're an ace of double battles. Thank you very much, we get a lot of money for it too. So I'll once again run up here and talk to you before we move forward. Uh, double battles are the norm here at Blueberry Academy. You can pull out some tricky strategies with them, which is what makes them so fun, for sure. Okay, well there's more trainers off in this direction, as well as some more things to pick up, so I'll definitely be trying to do a bit of both. We get a hyper potion there, and I will battle you. I don't feel like doing my homework. All right, well, maybe I get distracted with the battle for a bit, and then you can try it out. I really don't want to do my homework, so I ended up coming up, coming here to the terrarium. All right, well, you're challenged by Michael the student. Let's see what you got, Michael. Shielden and uh, the Dragonfly one. I'm forgetting the names of like every Pokemon right now. The Brava. All right, well. We don't really know too much about Shieldin, but we know that uh, Vibrava, we can probably do Nuzzle against you, or we can just do close combat. Let's do that against Vibrava, battle, do Flower Trick against Shieldin, and see how it does. Because we've caught a Vibrava before. But I think the Shieldin here is the new thing. So there we go, critical hit is gonna knock out Shieldon. The music here is pretty cool so far. Definitely liking it has like a cool futuristic vibe to it, just like everything else we have seen so far at Blueberry Academy. But yeah, as we're progressing through and we've defeated Michael the student, I would love to hear if you've gotten part two of the DLC just yet, and if so, what are your thoughts on it? Are you having a good time throughout it? Even getting beat by you doesn't make me want to go deal with my homework. Oh no. I think it's still good to do it anyways, even if you don't want to. Uh, we'll go and talk to you really quickly. Write 800 words summarizing Pokemon abilities and the advantages they can offer in battle? Who wants to do a thing like that? Well, one easy way to do it, I guess, would be to write a little bit and then take a break and then write a bit more. Anyways, it looks like we got a new Pokemon here. All right, so let's see if we can't catch Trapinch real quick. I think we'll be able to make it happen. We've caught all the other Pokemon without an issue, so let's give this one a go. Come on, ooh, we got the Wiggle. There it is. That's awesome, so Trapinch was caught another new addition to our Pokedex here. Always glad to see it. Look at all that experience rolling in. So let's see what the Pokedex has to say about number 44, Trapinch, the ant pit Pokemon, a ground type. As it digs through the sand, its giant jaws crush any rocks that obstruct its path. It builds a funnel-shaped nest. Cute, I love its eyes. So we'll go ahead and just put that into our boxes and keep it moving, because we got plenty of other places to get to. Oh, I guess we haven't caught a Vibrava yet? Interesting. We caught something that was very similar in the uh, first DLC, whoa. Wait a minute, this is a normal Tauros. It's not the uh, Paldean version. Interesting. Whoa, and of course it's Terrastalized too, so that makes it extra interesting. It's a fighting type. Oh boy. This is certainly interesting. I'll give it everything I got. I don't think fighting is good against fighting, is it? Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just do Discharge. At least it might paralyze you. Ooh, there we go, gets you low enough that it should break the terrestrialization and paralyze you. We're in a great opportunity just to throw a Pokeball. Okay, there we go. Here's our chance. So, with that done, I go here, and I'll throw an Ultra Ball, I suppose? Ultra Ball, here we go. Let's see what we got. Come on, oh, not quite gonna work. I think we just gotta keep going with it. It can't move because it's paralyzed. Now this is a great time to toss more of the Pokeballs. I don't think we would be able to damage, down, damage it down anymore without knocking it out entirely. So one of these Ultra Balls just has to do the trick so that we can catch this Tauros. Come on. No, so close. All right, we're closing it. It's gonna use Giga Impact. Uh oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh man. Try that again. Another Ultra Ball coming out. We're catching you this time, Tauros. Please, please, please. There it is, third time's the charm, and we catch Tauros. That was a really fun one to get, especially since it's terrestrialized like that. We'll get a lot of experience for our trouble, and as you can see, we get number 22, Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon, a normal type. They fight each other by locking horns. The herd's protectors take pride in their battle-scarred horns. So cool. Definitely cool to see a Gen 1 Pokemon make its appearance here, you know, 
all these years later. And oh, not dealing, but smear gold, I think, if I remember correctly. We'll find out in just a moment. One new Pokemon is this. It is Smeargle, I was right. Okay, so we'll throw a quick ball right away as we have before, and hopefully that'll make for a quick catch. Who knows, maybe our quick ball luck will run out. Ooh, it will, no, it was so close. I don't think I threw out another one, I think I should probably just do Nuzzle. Ooh, that failed. Okay, that's good. So we'll just use Nuzzle real fast. Ooh, that was almost a one hit takedown, but it luckily wasn't. So it's paralyzed now, it's super low on health. It's using struggle. Oh no! Wait, it was damaged by the recoil, it's gonna knock itself out. Darn, that's not what I wanted. We'll get some experience for taking on the Pokemon for the first time, but if I run into another one, I definitely should try to go for it. A little bit bummed out by that, but that's okay. We could do a little terrestrialized action here with this cave, but uh, we'll see, a tear raid. Ooh, oh, that is new, but it is four stars. It is a ground type thing, so if we uh, change our Pokemon, we probably wanna change to something that'll have water type moves. I don't know if we really have too much in that way. I mean, we have Floatzel, so, I mean, that's the problem, right? Is that like water is good against ice, not so much. Hmm. I have to think about what might be the best one to go against it. All right, so I decided we would go with Meowskarata here. Even if it is like a ground type, we should be able to handle that no problem with the terrestrialized grass. So four stars is pretty tough, but nothing we can't handle, right? We'll give this a go, and it should be this Pokemon caught, because this is the newer one for us here in Scarlet and Violet. It's Dugong, very cool, right? So Dugong's gonna start with Rain Dance, which actually is totally fine for Meowskarata. We will battle, and I will do Flower Trick straight away. That should do a number on you. Here we go, look at all the damage coming in, right? Ooh, halfway down already, that was awesome. He's gonna use Ice Beam against us. That is super effective, it doesn't do too much damage. Now the energy has begun to crowd around Dugong, it's okay, because we just hit you with this again. Well, everybody else is also trying to chip down that shield. We should be able to deal with you pretty fast, right? Come on, go ahead and do another flower trick. Here it is. There we go, there goes that, and oh, just a little bit more damage. We got you knocked out. Making super quick work of you. Uh, the play rough actually doesn't hurt too much, we're fine. Battle again, flower trick, just like that. And, ooh, not bad, super effective. Critical hit, everything we wanna see. Dugong fainted. All right, so with Dugong knocked out, this is our chance. We should definitely catch you. I will use just a normal Pokeball because it should still work. So there we go. Let's get ourselves a brand new Pokemon here. We'll toss this Pokeball, catch Dugong, and see what our rewards are. All right, so for four stars, of course, we capture Dugong itself. We'll get a bunch of experience candy and plenty of other nice rewards as well. All right, so registered number 144, Dugong, the sea lion Pokemon, is a water and ice type. It stores thermal energy in its body to fend off the cold. It swims at eight knots, even in frigid waters. Would you like to give Dugong a nickname? Not right now. So I'll send you to our boxes, just like that, and we will put it right there. 144, definitely need to evolve it at some point, but for now, that was a very awesome start. And hey, look, it's you. Okay, I wanted to throw a Pokeball at you, but definitely we want to get this Pokemon. We battled you just a few moments ago, the Vibrava, but now it's time to toss that quick ball over. Here's our chance. Let's hope we can get a good catch. Ooh, come on. Nice. All right, back-to-back -back Pokemon catching. Let's see what Vibrava is like here in the Pokedex. So, number 45, Vibrava, the vibration Pokemon, ground dragon type. It generates ultrasonic waves by vigorously vibrating its wings. After making its prey faint, it dissolves the prey with its digestive juices. No nickname for Vibrava, but awesome to have that Pokedex entry right there. Cool. So we're already making leaps and bounds towards 200 Pokedex entry entries in this area, and whoa, hey, got some Pokemon down here, interesting. Uh, whoa, whoa, I'm like sinking. That's not good, what are you? Uh, I don't know what Pokemon this is. Whoa, 
That's cool. And wait a minute. I think I'm about to sing this up strike in the distance. Running away. We got a rab scuff for now though. Let's focus on this and then see if we can't catch you. So many new Pokemon all over the place. There we go. You caught a Rapska. And we should get a Pokedex entry for this one. Number 31, Rabska, the rolling Pokemon, is a bug psychic type. An infant sleeps inside the ball. Rabska rolls the ball soothingly with its legs to ensure the infant sleeps comfortably. Oh, that's nice. A very interesting Pokemon. I've never uh, seen that one. I didn't want to do that, so I'm just going to sneak to the box. And there's another set of Zebstriker to our left. There we go. Awesome stuff. So let's go for you, because I think I have, yeah, I have Brave Area, but I think this is actually Blitzel, if I'm not mistaken. Not Zeb Strike, it evolves into Zeb Strike, but obviously a zebra themed Pokemon. How can I not love it? Let's see if we can get a quick catch on Blitzel. And it's also Electric type, which is definitely one of my favorite typings. It's a Pokemon named for me, for sure. <laughs> they definitely were thinking of me exactly when they made it, not, not anything else. <laughs> All right, Blitzel has been caught very easily. I'm so happy to see that. And uh, we'll see right here. So it's number 23, Blitzel, the electrified Pokemon, electric type. This Pokemon prefers places with lots of lightning strikes. It catches lightning with its mane and stores the electricity within its body. So cool. All right, so we'll send you to our boxes for now, but we'll definitely want to bring you out to evolve you eventually. But in the meantime, is there any other new Pokemon I should be going for? We have Crocodile, we have Crocorock. We gotta keep moving this way. We got the Relor, the Girafferig, all Pokemon we've caught before, but you know, we've really been taking our time getting to where we're supposed to be. Am I still even going the right way? Yes, I am, okay, we're fine. Obviously, if we find even more new Pokemon, I'll go for them, but whoa. Oh, you're so cute up there. I'll leave you be, but you, I should definitely try to catch. Oh man. As your new, oh my gosh, the close up. We're going against the evolution of the little Pokemon in their Mandibuzz. So I'll throw a quick ball at you. Not bad. And hopefully that'll be a quick catch. Oh, it won't be. Mandibuzz is gonna fight back with Nasty Plot. Now I'm a little bit afraid of using Nuzzle here. It might end up being a one hit takedown, but I think it's worth trying. Oh, not actually. Okay, that's great. It's super effective, but not a one-hit takedown, which gives us the chance, of course, to throw this quick ball. Which means Dark Pulse against us. That hurts a little bit, even though it's not very effective. So, quick ball time. And let's see, can we catch you now? There we go, not bad. Usually I don't throw quick balls in the second throw, but this seemed to be worth the effort. And because of that, we get a little bit more experience and we get the Mandibuzz added to our Pokedex. Number 35, Mandibuzz, the Bone Vulture Pokemon. is a dark flying type. Watching from the sky, they attacked weakened prey on the ground. They have a habit of decorating themselves with bones. Very cool. So we'll send you to our boxes and that's great. Now, as you can see here, we don't have the Volby yet. So if Volby's up there, which they are, um, maybe I could just, Try to take you on. I'm so sorry to do this to you when you're resting in the nest, but this way we got the parent-child combo caught. That doesn't work. Whoa. How do I get to you? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if I can. Maybe if I landed on top of this thing? Even that is a little tricky. What if I get off of you? Even then. Oh no, I can't, I can't. Just barely walk up here and then battle you. What an interesting thing to do. <laughs> but we did it. Okay, let's just try to get a quick catch on Volibee. There we go, quick ball coming out. Come on. Ooh, nice. So, Volibee was caught and on top of that, we'll get the Pokedex entry. So, luckily they're not out here on their own. <laughs> because we call it Mandibuzz. Number 34, Volby, the diapered Pokemon is a dark flying type. Its healthy appetite leads to visible growth spurts. It often has to replace the bones it wears as its size increases. Awesome, so with some more of the Pokemon caught, we just need to keep heading over north. <laughs> Such a cute photo too. I do think it'd be a great opportunity though to heal up our Pokemon if we can. We go over here, I can just uh, auto heal. Just to make sure you're feeling fine. I don't see anything else around you that's new, I say, until I run into you. Let's try to get that catch. 
Sorry that I'm taking so much time to catch new Pokemon, but that's the whole point of the video game. Uh, I know that some people like me to move on with the story as soon as possible. I try to do a bit of both, but for right now, this is the most exciting thing to me is, you know, trying to catch the new Pokemon that are waiting for us in this new area. So, didn't really get much luck there with the, with the quick ball, so I might just try a couple of nuzzles. It doesn't do much damage, so this might be our opportunity to do the stronger types of moves. Couldn't move because it was paralyzed, it's perfect. So if I hit you, no, not, not with that, but with the discharge, it shouldn't be enough to knock you out. Nice, that should be a good spot to throw an ultra ball and maybe get the catch on the executor. It's a pretty short, short executor. It's not a low one one that are like super duper tall. All right, Ultra Ball right here. Come on, is that the catch we're looking for? I sure hope so. Nice, all right, so not too much of an issue after all. All right. So, let's see the Pokedex entry for this one. Number four, Executor, the coconut Pokemon, Grass Psychic type. It is said that on rare occasions, one of its heads will drop off and continue on as an Execute. <laughs> Interesting. Is that why they look all beat up and like cracked sometimes? I guess so. Anyways, there is number uh, four in our Pokedex. And what about you? For a giraffe we have. So I guess we just keep moving over here since I'm not seeing any other new Pokemon. I don't think I'll do any more terrestrialization or terror raids right now. If we could head over to this coastal region, the coastal biome, where we should have one of the lessons over here. We have a Crabrawler and it's, uh, I guess a little north of here. Gotcha. So relaxing around here. And do we have new trainers to take on? Lots of people having fun. Oh, here we go. We get ourselves the Aurora Sphere. They used to let's lose a pulse of aura power. Whoa. Okay, so it doesn't look like anybody is looking for train trainer, but uh, what about you, Alola friend? Alola friend, I'm a big fan of Pokemon from the Alola region. Do you have an Alolan Golem in your part of your boxes? If so, I'd sure love to see it. I don't think so, what if I said yes, what happens? Um, I guess we can take a look. I wish it would highlight if I did. I'm pretty sure I don't. So I'm gonna say no. I just can't seem to find an Alolan Golem. It's also a tongue twister. All right, well I hope you find one soon, but are there new Pokemon over here? We got Finian, and we got, oh yeah. So we have, we've seen the the other form of these guys, the Paldean form, but now we have the normal Tentacool and Tentacruel. So we'll throw a quick ball at you as soon as we can and see if we can't catch you. That'd be fantastic if we could. All right, here comes our quick ball. And, Come on, let's make this a nice and easy catch. There it is, excellent, Tentacruel was caught. So the Tentacruel shouldn't be too difficult to get there right next to us. Number 51, Tentacruel, the jellyfish Pokemon is a water poison type. In battle, it extends all 80 of its tentacles to entrap its opponent inside a poisonous gnat. That was a lot of tentacles. All right, so we'll put you away, right there. And then don't forget the, the, oh, you, you're cute. I don't know what you are. Uh, something new, the Inkay, that is adorable. I'm seeing a lot of new Pokemon actually jumping around. Some over there in the distance, so definitely worth checking that out. That was a critical throw, so easy catch there. We also get the Inkay. So, thank you for that. As you can see, number 80, Inkay, the revolving Pokemon is a dark psychic type. Being upside down improves its blood flow and clears its mind, causing the power of its psychic moves to increase dramatically. Interesting. I'm sure that'll evolve at some point or another, so it's good to have. And then Tentacool, you were who I was going for before. And yeah, there's two other Pokemon over there. Still seem new, so I definitely wanna try to get them. Uh, quick ball. All right, ooh, come on, make this an easy catch. There's no way we catch Tentacruel in the first try, but not Tentacruel. So there we go, Tentacruel was caught. Look at all that experience coming in. Number 50, Tentacruel, the jellyfish Pokemon is registered, water poison type. Its eyes are as transparent as crystals. From them, it shoots mysterious beams of light. Awesome, so we'll send you to a box. Right next to Tentacruel. Uh, so where did you guys go? 
I don't know what this is, but there was like one other little Pokemon. I don't know where it went. Oh, right there. Yo, what is that? So cute. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. Oh my gosh, it's itty bitty. This is Esper. I love Esper. And I think behind us might be the evolution of Esper, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll find out in a moment. There we go. So there we go, Esper's caught. A bunch of experience coming in. Number one of four, Esper, the restraint Pokemon, is a psychic type. Behind an Esper's expressionless face is a frantic struggle to contain psychic power. Whoa. So, we'll put you away. Just like that, it's so cute. And uh, try to catch what might be its evolution over here. First I'll grab that, then I will go for you. So if that was Esper, then this is uh, Meow Stick. Whoa, quick ball for you then. And let's see if we can't get that quick and easy catch. I sure hope so. Come on. Got it. All right. Meow Stick is caught. Lots of extra experience there, and with it. Number 105, Meowstic, the constrained Pokemon psychic type, female. When they sense danger, they exert their psychic power at its maximum output. They have no regard for their opponents. Awesome. So as you can see, that goes right there, 105. And I think I've caught you, not you. But, uh, no, I guess I haven't. <laughs> okay, this might be the last one I go for, for a bit because uh, not Crow Brawler. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to aim and it just won't let me. Uh, I'll run from you and we'll try to get the other Pokemon if possible. Where did you go? You're over there. Because I definitely want to get to this mission. I feel like we're taking way too long. All right, so. Comfy, very cute. I'm gonna throw this quick ball. we get you. Oh, you're gonna jump out of that pretty quick. So, we're gonna use Grassy Train against us. Since it's a Grass type, I might be able to get away with uh, just using Discharge here, but our HP has been restored, thank you. Uh, discharge. Ooh, perfect. They're gonna use Play Rough, which definitely damages us pretty good. But because of that little thing I have set up, we both heal a little bit. All right, let's try it from here then. I just want to use an Ultra Ball and see if we can't get this quick catch on Comfy. Please, come on. Ah, oh, they jump out right away. Not good. I guess they aren't paralyzed. We should probably try Nuzzle. Okay, we both heal. A little unfortunate because they are getting back up there in health, but we just Nuzzle you. Why don't we get paralyzed? Never mind. Okay, Comfy fainted. I think we're gonna take that as a reason to just move forward. We're almost level 90 there with Talonflame. Let's run up here and keep it moving. If we see any new Pokemon, they can definitely wait for the next episode. I just wanna get over here and, whoa, look at this place with all the cool bushes and everything. I guess we finally made it to the lesson. Oh, and it looks like there's a teacher. Oh, Zebra. You didn't have any trouble finding the place. It was fine. I'm so glad to hear it. Alola, everybody. Shall we get started? Looks like we have a new face here with us today. I'm sure you are, you're all enjoying the tropical climb we've recreated here at the Coastal Biome. But remember, it's really for the many Pokemon you'll, be, you'll find living here, adapted for such weather. One such species has even grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. I'd like each of you to catch one of these Pokemon, specifically an Alolan formed Pokemon. When you've got one, come report to me. Now, get catching. Many of our classes here at Blueberry Academy are practical ones like this. So off you go, don't overthink it, and just do your best for this first class. So what do we have to do? Catch an Alolan form Pokemon. Do you know what kind of Pokemon it is you're supposed to be looking for? I suppose the best in Alolan form might be the Alolan Executor with its long, long knack. Okay, sure, if I talk to you. 
Did you manage to catch an all form Pokemon for me? Yes. Uh, I have to have something that's a Lolan form, right? Uh, would it tell me on here? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll definitely have to take a look around, because like here's our executor, but that's normal, not an Alolan form. Uh, the long, long neck one would be around here somewhere, I think. Did we catch one of those? Sure hope so. Uh, I'll take a look around and see if we have anything that's a Lolan form. All right, well, if we have a Lolan form, I'm not really sure, because it never really tells you anywhere on the screen as far as I can tell if it is or not, even if like, you judge it. I don't see that information anywhere, so I guess not. Keep searching and I'm sure you'll find one. Just imagine you're out on a nice stroll in Alola. So I guess we'll look for something that might be in Alolan form. Uh, so I'm not sure if we do have anything at the moment. So what about this Oracorio? Is this an Alolan form? I don't know. Maybe if we try to catch it, we'll find out. All right, so this Oracorio is super cute and not anything else. So let's go ahead and throw a quick ball at this as soon as we can and see if we can't get a quick uh, Alolan catch. I don't know. I'm hoping, but I'm not expecting too much. It is a critical throw, so we might get something good. Come on. Gotcha, or Corio was caught. And with it, a lot of extra experience. Very, very cool. So, this is a Pau style. I don't think that counts. Or Corio dancing Pokemon psychic flying Pau style. This form of Or Corio has sipped pink nectar. It'll, it elevates its mind with gentle steps of a stance, and then unleashes psychic energy. I don't think that counts as an Alolan form, unless it specifically says it. I don't think it's really what we're looking for. So we just need to look all around until we find something that is like most definitely a Alolan form. At least as far as I can tell. We do have another one of these Comfy, but once again, not an Alolan form Pokemon, so I guess I'll leave it for later. There are some trainers to fight around here, but I'd rather save that for another time as well. Interesting. Uh, maybe in this direction then? Actually not seeing too much in the way of Pokemon in general. Wait a minute. Whoa, hey, Seviper. That's just a normal Seviper though. It's definitely not gonna be what I'm looking for. <laughs> so I'll back out of this one. Okay, so I'm just sort of looking around this whole area and I did find at least one new type of Pokemon. I actually don't even know what this is. So let's try to find out for ourselves if this is an Alolan type Pokemon. Um, the Trumbeak. Probably not, but uh, I definitely wanna try to catch you regardless. Come on. That should be a good catch, right? There we go. So, Trumbeak was caught. It was very cute at the least. And some extra experience level 89 for Floatzel. So, Trumbeak is a Buglebeak Pokemon, normal flying type. When it encounters foes, it launches the many seeds stored in its beak in a radial burst. All right, Um. so instead of swapping into our party, we're just gonna move on. Nice. So I guess we'll have to evolve that at some point too. But hey, we've done pretty well so far. I see a Love Disc and a Finian. Those are things we've all caught before. So I'm not too worried about that. The tentacles, same deal. We just caught you earlier today. There's gotta be something around here. That is a low one form. And Dorsey, I'll leave you for later. Oh, whoa, Poke Packs. Let's go and try to catch a Poke Pack. Definitely not another Alolan form, but it is sort of difficult to find anything like that so far. Or Picky Pack, I think it evolves. Or no, is that what I named mine? <laughs> I think that's what I named mine, was Pokey Pack. <laughs> All right, well, Picky Pack here. And that's a really quick catch on Picky Pack. All right, so let's see what the Pokedex entry has to say about you. Number 47, Picky Pack. The Woodpecker Pokemon is a normal flying type. Picky Pack has strong muscles in its neck, so it won't hurt itself even if it violently shakes its head. Well, that's good to know. Go ahead and put all that stuff away, and boom, get that right there, 47. So I guess that evolves into Trumbeak? Interesting. Let's try to jump up here. We're finding more of the same Vigoroth as well. Very cool Pokemon, don't get me wrong. If we already have it caught, and it's not a Lolan form, I'm hardly interested in the moment. Okay, maybe we'll head up here. I'll find a Steel's Terra Shard, that's great. It might just be more local to where the lesson is, but I don't know, I'm really not finding much. Oh, you say Alolan form, so maybe something? Now let's just see if we can't get a hint from this battle. I'm raising a Alolan form Pokemon, look! All right, I'm looking. You're challenged by Leo the Student. Diglett and Grimer, oh yeah, that Grimer. And I guess the Diglett? 
Do I have that Grimer? I suppose not. Let's try Discharge and see if we can't just knock them both out at once. Probably not, that might actually be a bad idea. We'll try Flower Trick against the Diglett. I might just knock you out straight away. Ears open. Nice, critical hit's gonna knock you out. Diglett fainted. And Palma used Discharge. Knockout Grimer almost in one hit, come on. Critical hit on Grimer though, that's good. Oh no, we paralyzed our own Meowskarada. Not what I wanted, but so is Grimer. So I guess it's a trade I'm willing to take. All right, so couldn't move because it was paralyzed. We're just gonna go back in again. An Executor. Okay, so this is what I was hoping for before. Whoa, that's the tall neck Executor we're looking for. But we need one in our Pokedex. This doesn't really count for that. So I will just nuzzle you, and then I guess try U-turn on Executor. There we go. And let's see how this works. It should be enough to damage you down pretty well. Now Scarada can move because it was paralyzed. That's not good. You're way up there. The Psy Shock, huh? Uh-oh. Ooh, that hurt. Super effective. Let's battle again. Um, I guess I will maybe just try switching Pokemon. Switch to Talonflame and just burn you down. This is your last Pokemon. So if I could, wait. Talonflame, swap in. Oh, never mind. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, okay. Let's try U-turn again. Uh, or not. I might come back. So we're just waiting through this. Is that another new Pokemon over there or is that the one we caught before? Sort of hard to tell in the tall grass. It might be the same one. That was super effective, which is great. Now Skirata came back to us and I will send out uh, anything, really. Doesn't matter, we'll just send, oh, I can't. Uh, Floatzel. Gotta be careful because Executor, if it has grass damage, could actually damage Floatzel quite a lot. Come on, I'm using Psy Shock. And we are just going to Heat Wave you. And then uh, Ice Punch, sure. Doesn't really matter too much. This, this should, it avoided it, come on! This battle is so unnecessarily long. There we go, that's all I wanted. Okay, so there is that. We defeated Leo the student. We got a level up from Yaskarada. It turned out a well, a well at the end. Did you get a good look? Those are lowland forms, all right. All right, four thousand dollars right there. And what are you? The Meowstic again. Okay, so even if you haven't called a Pokemon yourself, you can check out some of the de their details in the Pokedex if you've battled them at least once. Is that enough for you to be happy? No, because it wanted me to choose it out of the box. So that's a little frustrating because it's just. Oh, I just gotta keep searching, I guess, and just get lucky for the right Pokemon to pop up. Okay, I'm walking through the tall grass. I do see you. You're not in a little form now. Definitely not. Uh, and I'm just not having much luck over here. Whoa, wait a minute. Grimer here! We got Solar Blade, and then this Grimer is in a Lolan form. All right, we finally did it! All right, you can tell by the, like, the yellow beard. <laughs> All right, throw a quick ball and just hope that we can get this. The Saul's Bug is not happy, but don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, as long as we can get the critical throw on that Grimer. Excellent. Exactly what we wanted to see. That was definitely some work. But as you can see, we get some extra experience for it. And number 68, Grimer is registered. The sludge Pokemon is a poison dark type, the Alolan form. Alolan Grimer will gladly gobble up any kind of trash, making it a widely used and popular Pokemon at garbage disposal facilities. See, it'll tell you specifically if it's an Alolan form, right there. I don't know if it'll do that in the Pokemon box, but right there, we get it, number 68. So happy about that. I'll grab this Pokeball, and then we are going, oh, and then you show up. Are you kidding me? I can't believe that. All right, I'll go try to catch you too, because it's worth it. Whoa, the big guy. <laughs> you can't even get a full look at him. Um, It frisked something from us, but yeah, let's try to get this Executor with the Quick Ball and just hope it's a fast one, come on. No, you're kidding me, it broke free. It's gonna use Mega Drain, doesn't do too much to us, but since it's grass type, we can definitely do Discharge. And do a lot of damage, oh, not very much damage, actually. It's gonna keep using Mega Drain to heal up too, so, I don't know, we might have to switch Pokemon here. It's a tough one to take out, that was for sure, but I just wanna at least nuzzle it so it's paralyzed. Come on, come on, there it goes. 
So now if I switch Pokemon, I don't want anything that's crazy damaging, just enough to like get it lower, you know? Because right now it's like healing too, which takes forever. So if I switch Pokemon to uh, maybe Oinkalone, we'll just try Headbutt. If that does it, awesome. If it knocks it out, we'll move on. I want to get this mission done as soon as possible. There's been a lot of time on it. So here comes Oinkalone. All right, so, Leech Seed coming in. Uh-oh. Link one was seated, that's not so good. Come on, this is taking forever. These moves are so slow. And I'll probably be, yeah, back up the full with that one. Not too surprising, we'll use Headbutt. Okay, that's a perfect amount of health right there. So stop absorbing away. Okay, that didn't get anything back from you, so. Basically, we're good at this. Oh my gosh, come on, let me throw my Pokeball, please. What we'll is toss an Ultra Ball at you. Ooh, that jumped the back of the green, though. You're kidding me. All right, we'll try to headbutt you one more time. This might be a bad idea. Ah, oh, it is, whatever. We might be able to catch you some other time, but that was an annoying Pokemon to fight. And ignore everything else here. It's much to my ability, because I just want to go and cash in the one Alolan Grimer that we found. And then from there, we'll see what's next for our little mission. Oh, I can heal here too. That'd be perfect, actually, if it lets me. Um, doesn't seem like there's anybody here to do it. So I guess not. Never mind. We'll just get over this way. I found the Alolan Pokemon. Did you manage to catch an Alolan form Pokemon for me? All right. So it should be in one of these boxes. I'll have to sift through the whole thing, but where could it be? Not in there. Not in here. Here it is, Grimer, select. That's one all right. You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Grimer. See, Grimer were brought over to Alola to solve the garbage disposal problems there. Over time, the Grimer ended up in this form. Wait, Zebra, you already finished the assignment? I was really motivated. So, battling isn't your only talent then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon too. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at Uva Academy. All right, everyone, gather around. We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be it for this class lesson, or class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework to complete for before our next session. Class dismissed. Man, really? Guess I'm stuck with homework. But there's worse homework than catching Pokemon. So Zebra, what did you think of your first Blueberry class? It was fun. Really? It makes me so happy to hear that. Oh, I was supposed to go make an appearance at the club room. Shoot. I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but let me know, or let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular, ta or extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry quests or just BBQs for short. They're sort of like missions that the school assigns to students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch a specific Pokemon, those sort of things. You never know what the, what the next BBQ might be or where you'll need to go to carry it out. But if you can do what's asked of you, you'll earn Blueberry Points, also called BP. BP is kind of a school currency you can use in the cafeteria or at the school store. You might be able to use it for club activities in the future too. Anyway, the long and short of it is that you should do BBQs and get yourself some BP. What are Blueberry Quests? BBQs are special quests set up to support students' extracurricular pursuits within Blueberry Academy. If you can complete the quest sent to your Rotom phone, you will receive BP, Blueberry Points. Checking current quests. You can check out which quests are currently available by pressing the right button when you are out and about. How to take part. A max of three quests will be displayed by default. Each time you complete a quest, a new one will be added to take its place. And every time you clear 10 quests, a, a special bonus quest will be unlocked. How to take part. You can also help your friends with their quests if you're all playing together in the Union Circle. Once a quest is completed, everyone who took part will receive the BP reward for that quest. So work together to clear as many as you can. Awesome. Blueberry points, BP. Blueberry points, commonly known as BP, are points that can be used like cash at Blueberry Academy. Use them to make purchases at the school store or the student cafeteria. You can also donate BP in the league club room to support other clubs. And that's it for me. 
Sorry for having to dash, but I really must be off now. Enjoy your time at Blueberry Academy. I definitely will. We already have so far. Okay, so it looks like it's getting a little bit later. We're getting a call on our Rotom phone. Hey, this is Zebra's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. Hi, Carmine. I heard the news. You got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? Yes. Ha, huh, one of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd fellow, we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now, let me think. Where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. <laughs> we're continuing onward throughout Blueberry Academy. I think we're going all the way back over here to meet up with Carmine. Yeah, reunion with Carmine. Head to the Central pra Plaza to meet up with Carmine. All right, we're heading back to it and I think we're getting a whole lot closer. It's sort of hard to tell from here, but I think we have to get over this whole mountain, right? Or maybe the mountain's actually after it. No, we're really close now. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh. A lot of these things seem like buildings where stuff can happen inside of them, and wow, is it bright. It's out of here, past here. The central plaza, right? Oh, I'm petting the Pokemon, I thought I was talking to you. The coastal biome's past here. The flowers, the sea, it's all lulled up. Very cool, that's where we just came from. This thing is so crazy bright. Sort of a little hard on the eyes, but where's Carmine now? Maybe down here? Looks like a lot of students. Uh, you've arrived at your destination. I'm not seeing Carmine around anywhere, but we'll keep searching for sure. Maybe up this way? Oh, there you are. Hi, Carmine. Actually, let's heal our Pokemon first. Here we go. Sweet, sweet synchronization. Ah, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? Of course. So what's up with this? That's the spirit. Let's head over to the test area then. You'll need to have a Pokemon out of its ball for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. Okay, so, there we go. Got Palm out right there. Are you ready to help me out with this amazing experiment? Yes. That's the spirit. Let's get this started then. Synchro nice. What is this about? Whoa, your mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of your Pokemon. Now that you're all synced up, your Pokemon will move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start with the movement test. There's a tree in front of your Pokemon. Try moving over there. So we get to play as the Pokemon or playing as Palmod. This is cool. Whoa. Super neat, and you can see us over there. So I guess we'll just go over this way. What an experience. Ah, yes, you're so in sync. I was able to get some useful data from that session. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. You obtained three rare candies. That's nice. You really have the talent for this. Would you mind sticking around for just one more experiment? It'd be a bit more work than the last one, but I'll give you something really nice afterward. Sure. What do you got for me? Are you in the mood to help me out with my amazing experiment? Sure. Okay then, here we go. Synchronize. So what's it gonna be this time? As we walk around this palm hut, your mind and feelings are synchronized with those of your Pokemon once again. Since this is your second time synchronizing, you should be able to do all sorts of things. So let's begin the battle test. Try taking on some of the other Pokemon in the area. Whoa, okay. So I don't see any Pokemon over here, but over in this direction, I do see some. I'm gonna walk over to you. <laughs> We're building up some speed here. Whoa, what is with that? Graveler. Hold on, you get back here. I I'm missing you. I don't have a very large range of attack. Come on. There we go. And we won, right? There we go. So we just get to fight different Pokemon like this. Very cool. There's another. So I guess we'll just get uh, experience for our party this way. That's a pretty fast way to do it. Where are you running to? You get back here. There we go. Three out of three, right? Awesome. So with that done, it sounds like somebody got a level up. That's a fast way to get experience, for sure. 
Ah, uh, yes, you've got the best synchronization I've ever seen. I'm sure someone with your talent could put, a, put this amazing invention to good use. You obtained the Synchro Machine. Interesting. Synchro Machine, a device that synchronizes your mind and feelings with your Pokemon so that you can work as one. It's still a prototype, hence its unrefined appearance. It's still a proto prototype, so its design may look a little uninspiring, but you can use it to synchronize whenever you want. Try it with lots of different Pokemon. All right. That's really, really cool. Using the Synchro Machine. You can work in sync with the Pokemon that you have walking around with you. Hold down the L button and then press the R button to begin synchronizing. Just remember that the Synchro Machine only works in the Terrarium. So I could just do that right now. Huh. Whoa. This is crazy. I can just do this at any point in time. You want to stop using the Synchro Machine? Yes. <laughs> you can see our characters just closing their eyes. Okay, I'll grab this Pokeball real quickly. And that was really cool. I'm glad that we got that done before we talked to Carmine, because now we can just fully focus on that, right? Okay, I gotta hop up here. And Carmine's waiting for us right in that direction. Also, the vending machines. Sorry to get distracted again. But I got some hyper potions. This is a Pokeball vending machine. Welcome. Would you like, a, would like to make a purchase? I'd like to buy. Uh, do we have, oh, please tell me there's quick balls. Ultra balls, net balls, quick balls. Here we go. I'm going to spend an absurd amount of money on these, but it'll be worth it. If I can get like 125, sure. There, boom. It's expensive, but we had the money. So we can also pay with LP. Uh, We'll just do cash for now. I got more cash than I have LP. There we go. I should be good on quick balls for a long, long time now. So that's awesome. I'm good for now. And let's go finally talk to Carmine over here. I wonder who they're chatting with. Hi. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you have a visitor, Carmine. Long time no see, Zebra. I bet you missed me, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Honestly, is the best policy, huh? Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Uh, okay, see you around. So who was that? I guess another student here at the academy. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Hmm, speaking of classmates, it feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. And look at you, you haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time we battled. Oh, really? <laughs> you wanna see? Oh, you totally wanna see. Well, we have a battle core right here, so get into position. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, you ready for a double battle? You won't know what hit you. All right, so our rematch against Carmine after all this time, you are challenged by Pokemon trainer Carmine. Mason, uh, Mighty Anna and someone else. Okay, very cool, so let's go for it. I'll give you a special treat since you came all this way. Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. Oh no, she means business. All right, so let's see how we do against two count into Mighty Yenna. Let's see, battle, close combat, or I could do discharge. This would also hurt Meowskarada, so I don't know if it's really all that much worth doing. It's super effective if I do that. I might just go for this. Let's see how much damage we can do in just one attack. And then Meowskarada can do U-turn against Mighty Yenna if they're still sticking around after that. Uh-oh, was that fire? Eating up its beak, whoa. That wasn't so bad, super effective there. Hey, stop that. Why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? I don't think that'd be very useful. Okay, so we can send you back. And then maybe, I gotta be careful with who I switch out here while we're waiting for uh, Palma to do their attacks. Maybe we'll do just Wink alone or something. Maybe we could do Dax Pond. 
All right. Dox button, come on out. Looking good. And the discharge coming in. Not bad. All right, so we get a lot of experience here, but here comes the Beak Blast. Ow. So I think Carmine has a few more Pokemon. Here comes Scrafty, whoa, so cool. Scrafty is gonna use Intimidate. I don't know if we've run into Scrafty yet in this game. We could try Close Combat against you just to see how it works. And then Dock Spun, let's just use Play Rough against Two Cannon. Not bad, super effective, is gonna knock you out no problem. And then Dock Spun, that Play Rough, should be enough to finish off the Two Cannon. Here's open. Good experience there. And two cannons out too. So I think Carmen has one more Pokemon left, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. It's Nishja. Whoa. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so not very effective stuff here. I guess I could just try a nuzzle really quickly. Or we could just switch Pokemon. Um because we have some super effective moves here, for sure. And then battle. And we'll do Lick. It's super effective against Sinistra. All right, here we go. Town Flame should be able to do a number. That's it, I'm ready to go all out. <laughs> Time for me to tear it up. All right, so I guess you have Terrasalize here. Whoa, here we go. This is cool. So could you Terrasalize two Pokemon at once during a double battle? I guess we can find out here if we wanted to. So cool. So Doc's going to use Link against you. Doesn't do too much this time, I guess. Because now it's not the typing it was before. It's like a grass type. Oh, I see. Doc's Bun is now paralyzed. So I will battle. We could Terrasalize, but that's flying, which is still super effective. So we could do either we could do Brave Bird. Brave Bird will do a lot of damage against the Nitschda. And of course, we'll just do Play Rough against you. See how that goes? I don't think I can Terrasalize as both of them. Come on. The double Terrasalize battle here. We both have one. Who's gonna be out on top by the end of it? So Brave Bird coming in first. That's gonna do a ton of damage, for sure. There we go, super effective, exactly what we wanna see. That's gonna finish up this battle beautifully. Awesome. All right, well it's great to see a nice rematch against Carmine here. We were damaged by the recoil a little bit, but nothing to be worried about. And lots of experience here too. We got two more Pokemon to level 90, and we defeated Trainer Carmine. That did not go the way I had planned. All right, we got 6,000 in prize money. Ah, I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? You still don't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. Hey, by the way, have you uh, run into Kiki yet? No, I haven't. Been really concerned about that. Oh, never mind. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. Are you kidding me? What? Was this assignment too hard for you too? Wait, that's Who's this? Whoa. I knew it. That's Kieran. Phew. He almost saw us. Wait, that's Kieran? He looks way different. Wait, that's Kieran? Shh, keep your voice down. I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this weak forever? That's what I'm hearing? No, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. You don't need people in my, I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. 
Wow. Wait, Kieran, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. I don't like this dark turn that Kieran's taken. Now are you expecting, right? Kiki looks different, acts different. He hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. Who's this? Ugh. I like their jacket. If it isn't Carmine. And Carmine's new mystery friend. Think I might have heard of you though. Are you that new kid with the wild backstory? What a lovely surprise. Just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into. Come on now, at least introduce me. This is Drayton, and he's the worst. <laughs> he's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was at least. Beautiful intro, thanks. This is Zebra, he's here on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend and, what about Kieran? You friends with the guy? Uh, yeah, we're friends. Oh, uh -huh, I see, that's great. All right, Zebra, how about I show you your club room? Huh, why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any of the clubs we've got here, right? Take it from me, you'll have a way better time here if you join me. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Come with me. Uh, sure, hey, hold on. Ugh, see, I told you he was the worst. Look at him, just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going with you. All right, well, guess we're following them. And here we are. What is here exactly? Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? You know, cause, cause of Kieran? Nah, don't worry, he won't show up here anytime soon. If you say so. So this is some sort of club? Anyway, this is the base op of operations for the league club, whoa. On behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. What is, what's this league club? <laughs> glad you asked. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system, the BB League. Here in the, the League Club, we battle each other to train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time. Such is our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously? That's how you explain it to new people? Yep, though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual lately. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers in the BB League are called the BB League Elite Four. Whoa, and this annoying toothpaste haired bozo is one of them. So is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier? Oh, gotcha. Too bad he didn't make the cut, Carmine. I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. Have another time for league matches. If we're ta ta talking actual skill, I'm way above any of the Elite Four. <laughs> that's no lie. What you think, Zebra? Fun club, huh? Yeah, sure, it seems interesting. Ooh, I can feel the enthusiasm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think that takes care of it. You're in on a trial basis. Huh? What do you mean, trial basis? You heard me. As far as the Dracer's concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial basis clubmates. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever with the, the stuff here. Check out the computer over there too. It's super helpful. It lets your, you use your BP to support kids in, the, in other clubs. They'll return the favor in different ways. The support board. Using the PC in the league club room, you can help support the efforts of the other clubs by donating BP to them. In return, you will reap all kinds of rewards, such as new functions for your camera app or new ways to redecorate the club room. Cool. Here, give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. Okay. You received 200 BP from, Bra from Drayton, so we have 240 in total right now. 
not a ton. Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with your throwing form. Okay, so, talk to you a little bit. It looks like Drain set on, set, set on you doing this. Just play along, okay? Use the computer to help Mitch out with some BP. Just give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. So run over here to the computer. It's the League Club's computer. What do you wanna do? Contribute BP. So, baseball club, pitch some cool throwing styles. Uh, I'm developing new throwing styles. Want cool new ways to throw Pokeballs? Let's spitball together in return for your little contribution to our club's finances. Mitch, the following new throwing styles will become available. Smug style and elegant style, that's so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and add that for 150. So we'll get like new updates. Thanks for the support, Zebra. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this, get me? Then I swing my leg and, yeah! Yeah, you know, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. We've come up with, some real, with a real home run here. If you ever want to change how you throw your Pokeballs, just give me another call. You now have more throwing styles to choose from. I wonder how I changed them. Oh, whoa, you did it. Not bad for your first time. That will teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. You attained the catching charm. What is this? Catching charm. Having one of these mysterious, unshakable charms makes it more likely you'll get a critical catch. Whoa! You can have this too. Put it on and you'll look just like Dracer. You received the League Club uniform from Drayton. Anyway, feel free to computer it up any way you want. Like I said, we're trial basis clubmates now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. Whoa. The snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around open and half finished. I wanna go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting around. All that explaining left me starving. I think I'm gonna head on over to the cafeteria. If you wanna officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. Sure. A what? Be seeing ya. Ah, that bozo. Seriously, what is his problem? And a cafeteria date? What does he even mean by that? Calm down, Karma. <laughs> I don't think he meant it that way. Just so you know, this is not excitement over the date thing. It's anger. Ugh, sorry, being in here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know, let's go to your room. Oh, do I have a room here? Of, of course, I guess that makes sense. We're gonna go to our dorm room. You don't know where your door, where your room is? Just wander around and you'll find it eventually. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, before we do that, I, I sort of was able to piece together how to do this again. Um, I wanted to see the new one. The, uh, I guess the BB uniform? Whoa. So here's the league club uniform. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that looks a little bit different than what Drayton had on. He had like a cool jacket. So I'm a little confused, but uh, Maybe we could switch over to some of the other ones. We got this track suit here. Whoa, I like that. And the winter uniform, autumn, summer, and spring. I like the winter one out of all these the most. I think that's really cool. So I'll stick with that one for now. And I think that there's a way to, would like to go with this outfit and start customizing your look? Yes. Okay, I wanted to change the hair. Can I not do that here either? Okay, I, I guess not. Um. I don't know if I can change the hair from here or if I have to go to a stylist. Uh, yeah, leave without change, changing. Huh. What about this one? Okay, this is my uh, taunts and stuff. I like my little emotions. Very cool. And this is the BBQ available quest. Which are good. Oh, def oh that's what I got before. Oh, we can change your expression with the selfies and stuff. Changing your expression, press the down button while taking a selfie to change your expression. Press the down button after using an emote to change your expression without changing your pose. Combine emotes and expressions to set up shots that are uniquely yours. You can play music while taking photos with the camera app by pressing the ZL button or ZR button. Give it a try. You may find that the Pokemon you let out of their Pokeballs react to the music too. 
Photographs taken using the camera app are saved to your Nintendo Switch system. You can view photos in the album within the home menu. That's cool, but not really what I was after. I don't know how to change the hair. I didn't see the option anywhere, so I think we'll just keep moving. Okay, I also wanted to check out the computer to see if there's other League Club things we can do and contribute to. So we had this one, changing our throwing style. We can't quite afford a lot of these, but maybe this one. I wanna try new effects on your photos. Okay, so some of these seem a little bit different, but do you need a smart speaker? Hey, your music club here. There's nobody in this world who doesn't love music, right? So how about trading some of your VP for one of our special smart speakers? Get a smart speaker for the club room. Sure, okay, I'll do this one. And that'll be the last one we do for right now. We'll try to do some more quests so we can earn up more BP along the way. You contributed 50 BP to Allegro in the music club. We're getting a call from them. I'm reaching Zebra's phone, yeah? Props for supporting the music club. Looks like you forked over enough BP, meaning we're all good to send you that speaker. Someone will be along with it, with it in two shakes. Just chill like a slow king till it gets there for you. Okay, cool, so I guess we just get a speaker in here? Oh, there it is, whoa, fancy with the Pokeball on the side? You got it, yeah? The smart speaker? Nothing better than blasting some bops, am I right? If you want more tracks, you know where to keep sending your BP. Awesome. So can we interact with it? It's a smart speaker. What would you like to say as your background music? So I guess we could just like check the Academy and Life album. Whoa, so I think I'll keep it to whatever music naturally plays, but good to know about all that kind of stuff. So we want to head out of here for now and try to find our dorm room. Where do you want to go? Uh, dorm room, right there. Okay, that's pretty simple. I guess we've made it. Well, it looks like this is your room. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know? So what do you think? How is it compared to the dorm rooms back at your school? It looks exactly the same, just a different color palette. <laughs> uh, about the same. What? Psh, that's no fun. Well, you can come have a look at my room later too, if you want. Sure. Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. About Kieran? Kiki is, well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's, he's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB league champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Kieran's changed, but you? You've stayed the same. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would you? Of course, I mean, obviously I don't want him to hurt anybody, but I'll try to be his friend through and through. Thank you. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. About Drayton? Ugh, Drayton. Don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had a, the, to repeat the same year three times. Point is, don't let your guard down around him, ever. You're going on your date. I mean, you're gonna go hang out with Drayton later, right? <laughs> I'd go with, but if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really gonna be in trouble. I'd love for you to join the league club. But if Drain gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Talk to Drain is our next mission, and I guess it'll be somewhere in the school? Seems like it. A date with Drayton. Go to the Blueberry Academy cafeteria and have a chat with Drayton. If Drain says anything stupid, just hit him with a sucker punch. Okay, I don't think I'll be as quick to resort to violence. I wanted to see, hold on, before we do any of that. Uh, can I change my appearance from in here at all? Uh, no. I don't know how to change her hair. <laughs> I thought I would do it through the one menu, but I guess not, so. Okay, we're heading out of here. Where do you wanna go? Uh, we were trying to go to the cafeteria down this way, but I guess we have some different places. So the entrance, the terrarium, classroom on the floor is Kieran's classroom, used for homeroom activities. Carmine's classroom, where Miss Breyer teaches. Um, the school store. 
uh, sells items for your adventures, daily necessities, and more. Only BP is accepted here, so make sure you've got some. We don't have too much right now. The cafeteria. The kind ladies working in the cafeteria make keeping helpings. There's no way you'll walk away hungry. And then, of course, the league club room. The room the league club uses as a base. You can use the computer here to support other clubs by sending them BP. Okay, so we'll start with the cafeteria and see if Drayton is still there. I sure hope so. Okay, so... Oh, there's Drayton. <laughs> He looks bored. Oh, welcome. Welcome, just let me know what you'd like and I'll dish something right up for you. Sure. Whoa, we got Academy Pizza, Academy Shake, Academy Fries, and Academy Special. And these all, of course, give us different meal powers. I gotta go with the pizza, an extra large pizza that recreates the Academy's emblem using plenty of sausage and cheese. Delicious. All right, well, so you like the Academy Pizza then? You're in for a real belly filler. Yes, please. So I don't have enough BP. Oh no. All right then. So I was like, never mind to the food. I thought I had to grab food before I was allowed to sit down. Hi, Drayton. Hey, Zebra. No need to stand there. Grab a seat. Here's the Drayster take. The Academy Special is the best thing on the menu. It's all so soft, you can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Wow, that sounds tasty. <laughs> you know what's up. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I wanna see you join the BB League, Zebra. You in? Sure, I'll. Look who's decided the grace is with their presence. Oh, hey. Oh, these are the Elite Four, huh? Whoa, it's the champion. And the rest of the Elite Four, too. What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. I've got so much time to, yeah, I, if you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I've got your old pal with me? Huh? Zebra? Uh, long time no see. W why? You didn't hear that he was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Oh, so Lacey's another member of the Elite Four, right? Am I getting this right? Maybe these are just, maybe it's just the, the one person on the left that is on the Elite Four, I'm not sure. Director Cyrano himself introduced him to me when we met at the school's entrance. We're already tied us to you. In fact, I was just asking Zebra to join the BB League. Oh, I like it. That'd be fire. What? A student from another school joining the BB League? Unprecedented. Th that's right. Zebra may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. Oh, come on. Do you all eat fun and friendship or something? You wanna exclude someone who's t taking our same classes and living in our same dorms? How's he not one of us? And isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? Uh, I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no from me. What about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? What do you say? I abide by the rules of the institution. Proposition declined. Two against two, huh? All right then. What says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? It doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Huh. <laughs> Guess we've got our answer. Uh, Kieran, wait! Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want, it's just not right! Huh, interesting dynamic there. So lots of new characters we're meeting today. Sorry, Zebra. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran come out of this better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you, every step of the way. But now that, that, that the decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. 
Meet me at the reception desk in the school's entrance area. All right. So I guess we're just signing up for the BB League. Uh, so join the BB League, which would be in the reception area, so we'll just head right over there through here. So where do you want to go? To the... Oh, Carmine's dorm room. Carmine's dorm room. There were a lot of there's a lot of decorations that fit her particular tastes. <laughs> cool. So, uh, where is she? I guess. Uh, oh, she's not in here. Okay. Uh, whoa, I like the picture. The the Wiz Cash, I think. There's a lot of different Pokemon memorabilia here. This is so cute. You can see some photos over there too. I like a lot of her favorite snacks. I, I thought that she would be here. I don't I don't want to hang out in somebody else's dorm while they're not here. That just feels rude. So let's go to the entrance of the academy. All right, we're here. And I don't see Drayton anywhere. Uh, we gotta be walking by. Did I go to the wrong one again? Oh no, there you are. I walked right past you. Sorry, buddy. There you are. This is where we can get you signed up for the BB League. That's great. Uh, do I just talk to you? I guess so. How can I help you today? I want to join the BB League. Ah, it says here that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. Wheelie Ford talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drayton. Oh, hey. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Zebra to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play puppet master. But if I get a shot at battling Zebra, then that's fine with me. <laughs> that's just peachy. Zebra. Uh-oh. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. I'll try my best. Good. Uh. I'm not a little kid anymore, and you'll know it when I show you how the best of the best battle. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Zebra like that. Shut it, sis. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. Kieran really has changed. I'm sorry, Zebra. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, it's such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion, after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Zebra into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This was all his idea. Right, Zebra? Uh, not necessarily. No, <laughs> no, that look. No doubt about it. Hear that, Carmine? He's hungry for action. I don't know. I think something's fishy's going on. But, well, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please, keep an eye on Kiki for me. Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is complete. Great timing. Zebra is cleared to complete, compete at the BB League. Usually you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks, but seeing as how you've got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Cyrano, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at the respective bases in the terrarium. Once you clear the trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have to go to each area to find each of the Elite Fours. So we have Drayton, Amorous, Lacey, and Crispin. The locations of each of the BB League Elite Four have been added to your map app. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing BBQs. Then, if you defeat all the members of the Elite Four, you can challenge the champion. All right then, best of luck in the BB League. You can start with whichever of us you want, you're gone. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to do a, little fun, a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sounds good, right? Catch you in the terrarium, bud. All right, so it looks like we have our larger goal set forward in front of us. 
But for right now, we're back to the game. So we can use the map to find the next destination. And we go out this way, we can really see that the Elite Four members here. I think we'll probably start with one of the two biomes we haven't been to yet. So either going for uh, Drayton or I think it was Amorous. Probably Amorous if I had to choose between the two. So before we get into it, I do see Dr. Cyrano. We haven't ch chatted with you in a while. Hey there. How are you doing, director? Oh, hey there, Zebra. What brings you back up here? Uh, just wanted to chat. The chat with me? Well, well, aren't I the popular one? By the by, how's that blueberry Pokedex of yours coming along? Come show me once you've filled it in a bit. And definitely come show me if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. All right, well, I do have a decent amount of it. Will you say anything about that? Hey there, Zebra. It looks like you've caught 79 species of Pokemon in the terrarium. You're starting to make some headway, I see. Don't be afraid to explore all the terrarium's biomes. Each one is unique from the others. Awesome. So, yeah, we'll just be exploring the terrarium today, trying to earn up some BB points as we make our way over to one of the Elite Four. We could do the Savannah biome, but I feel like I explored that a little bit last episode, right? Um, so I think it'd be more fun to maybe tend to the Canyon biome and try to get over to the uh, Canyon Plaza, challenging Amorous of the Elite Four, who of course is BB League rank number four. Has trained Pokemon since she could walk and talk. Directs steel Pokemon precisely to calmly corner opponents. She's also student council president from Castelia City in Unova. Very cool. So we'll fly over to the Central Plaza, move our way southwest throughout the Canyon Biome and try to get over there as soon as possible. Should be a ton of fun. All right, we've made it back here. I don't think there's too much I have to do in the central plaza, but what I think might be useful, should've done this before really, is a uh, mark on my map. It says destination. There we go. No, are you serious? Come on, come on. All right, we'll deal with that later. We've got a lot of missions done. Let's go take on, what was it? Ameris, I think? And maybe we could take this opportunity to heal too. We're at the Canyon Plaza Terrarium. Yeah, first heal. What did it do? I'll have to my Pokemon. Just to make sure that they are in tip top shape for this upcoming battle. And Palma and your other Pokemon are all better now. Cool. So, we got a D or T in there, Iron Defense. I don't see any place where I can make my own. Oh, talk to me for the Elite Trial. We'll do that in just a second after I can just confirm there's no way to make a TM around here. Because I feel like there used to be just wherever I could heal, I could make a TM, but. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Sort of a shame. I think we could do it back at the main base area, but okay, if there's not more, much more to do, let's talk to you and go on our elite trial. Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Ameris at the Elite Four. And you're Zebra, right? One of the BB League challengers? Yep. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Yes. All right, so we're down to 280. You paid 50 BP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Now here she comes, our very own Ameris. Whoa, okay. Zebra, yes. As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required. Come. Whoa, so we're not battling at the little battle station up there? I guess not. Taking into the field. The decision to allow you to take on the league was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge, the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time, and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite rings, and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Can you verify that you are ready and willing to take on my Flying Time Trial? I'm ready. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. Well, I guess Maridon would be your best bet, right? There you are, buddy. 
Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agias, yes? This is for you to eat. All right, very cool. <laughs> A ride on is brimming with power. What your Agus just consumed is a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. Your Agus will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. How to play. Try to reach the goal within the time limit by flying on Maridon's back. Passing through Magnemite rings will grant you extra time. You can fly freely in any direction using the left stick. Move the left stick up to fly down, and move the left stick down to fly down. Or fly up, and okay, you know what I mean. They just move in the direction you wanna go. You have all you need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. Thank you. Whoa. This is pretty cool. So we'll just be able to freely fly around with Maridon. The Elite Trial, take on the Flying Time Trial. I'm on it. Sounds like we're off. All right, this is so cool. Three, two, one, and go. So I guess our goal, of course, is just to go through these rings to build up as much speed as possible. There's not like any buttons to like flap our wings to go faster or anything, it seems. So it's just all about steering as well as possible through these Magnemite rings. If I cut the corners a little bit, I think that's gonna be our best sort of situation. We get three seconds for each ring. Very cool flying over here, and then we wanna dive down really quickly, I can't even see. I gotta move the actual camera. Come on. There we go. So far, so good. Whoa, going the wrong way, going the wrong way. There we go, back up, back up. That's it. Making some good time here so far. And we're almost at the finish line, oh, that was really quick. And boom, we made it. Nice finish. Elite trial, take on the flying time trial, cl cleared. Awesome. All right, well, what do you have to say about that? That was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now, a change of location is required once again. Come. So it looks like we're getting ready for a battle now. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Yes. I'm as ready as ever. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. All right, so I wonder what kind of Pokemon you're gonna have. Position assumed. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kirin. What is he to you, Zebra? Uh, he's my pal. So, you consider him a friend, I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. All right, well there can only be one winner. You are challenged by Amaris of the BB League Elite Four. Here we go. And Amaris sends out Skarmory and Dugtria. Very cool. So let's see what we can do against these two Pokemon. Get ready, Skarmory. You too, Dugtrio. We're finishing this battle right on schedule. We'll see about that. First off, we got closed combat that we'll definitely use against Dugtrio. We haven't battled a Skarmory yet, but I have a feeling with it being, I think, a seal type, we'll probably want to use U-Turn just to get you out of here and switch out to a more effective Pokemon for the situation. So, Rocky Helmet hurts us back. Interesting. Uh-oh, what do we want to do here? I think we'll go to Talonflame. 
Heat Wave might be good against Skarmory. We'll find out soon enough, but for right now, Dugtrio used Earthquake. It doesn't affect Skarmory, and it shouldn't affect Talonflame, but that's really gonna do a number on Palmot. Luckily, not a one-hit takedown. So if you can use Close Combat now just to get rid of Dugtrio, almost so close. An unfavorable type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses have fogged up. Oh no. The healing coming in from Dugtrio from its Focus Sash, but it was used up too. Oh no, I wasn't healing. It was like defending them from actually Fing Tank. Gotcha. The Tangling Hair lowers Palmot's speed. Here comes the Stealth Rock. Not so good. So, we gotta be really careful here. But my hope is that we can just do a Nuzzle, maybe against Skarmory? I don't know. I mean, apparently it's super effective. But uh, we'll do it against Skarmory. That's where it'll be more effective, yeah. Uh, and then for you, I could try Heat Wave on the both of them. Whoa, okay. Sunflame use Heat Wave. Ooh, the cleanup! Both Dugtrio and Skarmory are gonna be knocked down. So bad luck can also play a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you. That was so fortunate for us, but not so much for Ameris. All right. So what's next for you? Palmot use Nuzzle, and we get a level up for uh, Doxman. Obviously, there's nobody to Nuzzle, but Empoleon coming out next, which should be an Ice type, right? And were you, were you Nicholas? What is this thing? I have no clue what Pokemon that is. Let's try and switch things out here for Palmot. Seeing a little bit beat up, now might be a good time to switch over to something totally different. We haven't used Oink alone in a good moment, so let's try that out now. And then when it comes to uh, you, let's try Heat Wave against the both of you. It'll definitely do a number against Empoleon. All right, here we go. This is our chance. Point to Stone Stug in that Oink alone. The Talonflame uses Heat Wave. It doesn't do that much. Empoleon, maybe water type? I thought it was water and ice. Maybe I'm wrong. Trick Room, whoa! This is intense. Twisted Dimensions. I don't like that very much. Okay, so what do I wanna do here? For Oinklon, I think I wanna use Dawn against this Reuni Reuniclus. And then maybe just what if I were to switch out you from Yaskarada? If it is a water type, I should know because didn't we have Empoleon in uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Sorry, there's just so many Pokemon. I get the types mixed up, but I think it is now a water type. The flame didn't work too much with it. Here comes Psychic. Oh, that might finish off Oinkalon before they have the chance to use the fainting move. Not good. Here comes Hydro Pump, but I think they were gonna use that. Oh no, okay, that's, that should be fine. It's not very effective, but it definitely still hurt. This is getting tougher and tougher as we go along. Okay, so how do we wanna do things now? I think we'll go to Doxmon. How many Pokemon does Ameris have left? Does she only have four or does she have six? I guess, I guess we'll see six. So let's try to play rough against Ryu Nicholas and then Flower Trick against Empoleon. That's gotta do something. Oh, man, I feel like they get to attack first every time. When's the last time we've been able to throw out a move here? What is going on? Why can't I play the game? I can't, my Pokemon can't do anything. Yeah, I have to switch them out for new ones because you keep defeating them. All right, that was really silly. But um, we'll try this. That's enough to knock you out. It's not super effective. So I guess not water type. I don't know anymore, whatever. <laughs> Some extra experience coming in. This is where I need to be very careful because I still have no clue what's going on with this Pokemon. Um, but I think Talonflame again, because sure, why not? And we're just gonna try to brute force you, right? Scissors coming out too, which maybe Seal type? Come on. What was that? The, the stones digging into Talonflame immediately do so much damage. Let's try Heat Wave against the both of you. And then maybe just, ugh. You know what I want to do? Go to our bag. I would like to full restore on Palmot and see how that goes. 
HP Restore on Palmot. So now we can get Palmot out here and do that revive hug or whatever it's called. Meowth is gonna get knocked out for it, but I think it'll be okay. This battle has gotten so tough so fast. And all of you get to attack again. Man, so tough, and there's Tail and Flame gone. This is, like, it started well, and then it's become a nightmare. All right. What'll be ridiculous is if they can just do all their moves first again with my next set of Pokemon. You know, that's what I'm not so happy with. So here's Palmont. Swap in. Place in the left, sure. Uh, Floatzel as well. These are our last two, so we really need to make this work. Okay. Here comes Palmont too. They're both full. So this feels pretty even, but it's not because they got the, the, the pointed stones. So, what do we want to do here? Scissor, I thought that we would have like some information on, but I guess not. So we'll just try close combat on you like this. And then maybe just Ice Punch on Reuniclus. However you pronounce it, I just don't know what typing it is. I'm guessing a Psychic type Pokemon at this point. As if we hardly have the chance to do anything about it anyways. But Aerial Ace? Ouch. Close combat coming in. Not a not a super effective move. Got it. Pokemon special defense fell. Forcefully uses ice punch. The shielding, of course, because this Pokemon just is undefeatable, apparently. Oh, so tough. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I guess it's good for us. I think this is where I probably I could do discharge, but I'll also hurt Floyd Soul, and I really don't want that. So I think this is where I. Revival Blessing. Wait, what? No, no, no. What did that do? Shouldn't that... Okay, so yeah, I think I use it like this and then I can choose later. All right. Ice Punch, maybe? Wave Crash? Whirlpool or Surf? This hurts everybody, though. I think I'll try Ice Punch and see if that finishes off Scissor or Scizor. Come on, please. No! Come on! I don't know what timing it is! <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame me? There's like a thousand different Pokemon. Okay, so I want to get Meowth back out. I think the Dark type move, if it is a Psychic type, I'm pretty sure Dark would be good against Psychic, right? The Dark Pulse might be my best bet against that. We'll find out, but come on. And there goes Palmon. Jeez, this is so rough. This is usually one of the toughest battles we've had in the game so far. Okay, Floetzel heals up a little bit with the leftovers. And the Meowskar is not even like a full heal, you know? Feels a little ridiculous, but. Point of stone, sticking to Meowskarada, hurting it even more. If we could just do the Dark Pulse and it can attack first, I'd be so happy. In the meantime, I think we need to do full max revive on a Pokemon. If we could do Oink Lent and then try to put some of the Pokemon to sleep, that'd be amazing. So, Bull Punch coming in. Please do not knock out my Pokemon before it has the time to attack. Can I just get, like, again, I got one little bit of luck here, but I feel like she's had nothing but all of the luck ever since then. And that's gonna be it. Ah, oh, disastrous, we're out. All right, well, I mean, we have only Glenn. We have only Glenn. We're not done yet. I thought we were. So upsetting. This is all we have. So we gotta hope that this works. All right. The point of stones do their thing as they always do. I could try Earth Power. Because would that hurt both of them? I want it. Um, I could try just headbutting you. Please, please work. Yes! Okay, Sizer's gone. I don't know how many more Pokemon you have left, but I'm pretty sure you still have something. And then Psychic coming in. Psychic against normal type is not gonna do too much, luckily. Metagross. Uh oh, that's a big seal type. So, at this point, what do I do? I think I go and I yawn against it, because we either survive this or we don't. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. So focused on time. Oh no, now you're gonna terrestrialize? I don't know, I think this battle's over. <laughs> We'll try again, of course, but geez, this is like one of the toughest battles we've ever run into in this game. And not just in this DLC, just in general for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is ridiculous. 
So we'll use Yawn against you and just see if we can't get you to snooze. Obviously they won't, won't even start snoozing in this one. Brick Break against Oink alone is almost enough to knock you out. It's super effective, but they toughed it out so we wouldn't feel sad. Thank you, Oink alone. And the Lingering Aroma, but Psychic against Link alone is gonna knock it out. So I guess that's it. We'll have to try again. So frustrating. All right, you have no more Pokemon that can fight. And we have to give oh, so much money back to the winner, whoever won by your defeat. All right, so I'll try again and we'll see if we get any luckier. You hurry back to the safer location. Okay. Jeez, that was rough. So I'm starting with Palmot and uh, Talonflame this time so that we could actually start with that Heat Wave. That is what I really wanna do. That way we can actually just maybe start with good momentum because that was sort of what was happening is I was just falling into bad situation after bad situation. I just couldn't recover. All right, the Stone Edge is gonna one hit Talonflame this. Like we'll see, maybe it'll just all be for naught. Who knows, because it seems like whatever weaknesses I can take advantage of, they just bounce back on this. And away, this is not so fun. So Doug Trio's out. Let's see. So it's just us and Skarmory here. I'll have to see what they throw out next, because next up should be, what, the, the weird gooey Pokemon that I'm forgetting the name of. Let's see what you throw out. They're gonna use Stealth Rock on us again, which is just not fun to deal with, but from what I can tell, that Pokemon is psychic. So if we can have Meowskarat out here to use Dark Pulse on it, that would be perfect. But we'll have to see if that's actually gonna work out for us. You're Reuniclus. <laughs> A ridiculous name to pronounce. Okay, so. Close combat on you, or I could do discharge on you, but remember that would also hurt, hurt Meowskarat. So we'll just do close combat. It's effective enough that I think it'll knock you out. And then Dark Pulse on Reuniclus. I can't say it, I'm trying. There we go, get him out of here. Critical hit, but still not enough for a full takedown, which is upsetting. I don't wanna hear anything about bad luck. With the last battle we had, you had plenty of good luck. There we go. So there we go, the Skarmory is defeated. We're in a decent position. Rocky Helmet's not fun to deal with, but it's okay. If we could heal Talonflame at some point, that'd be an excellent situation to be in. But in the meantime, Rio Nicholas is gonna use, ah, oh, Psychic and just destroy my Palm on. So it feels like every time I go one step ahead of them, they just bounce back. They clap back at me and it's not going very well. They'll heal up a little bit here. We'll be able to knock you out in just a moment. But what are we using now? I don't know what they're going to throw out. So I guess we'll stick with Oink alone. So I honestly forget what they had after this. So, Scissor. Okay, but now that we've battled them once, I think we get to see the typing advantages now a little bit better, so I can see Earth Power, um, Headbutt. Maybe I should just do Headbutt against you, and then battle, super effective, super effective. Okay, um, I'll just do Flower Trick. Well, it's not very effective. Okay, so U-Turn. I know it's not very effective, but it'll switch things out a little bit easier. That way we don't have to sacrifice a turn like we normally would if we're switching out Pokemon. And it's some kind of damage. So Mascarada goes back to us. I guess I could have done that the other way around. It would have been better. Um, do we have anything to be super effective? I guess Lick. I mean, I'd want Talonflame out here, but obviously I don't have the opportunity right now. So we'll do Dox Fun. Come on. Right there. Here comes the headbutt, which should defeat Ryu Nicholas. That's great. And so I was just gonna use Pounce, which does decent damage, but nothing to be too scared of. And Polion's coming out. So we battle again here. This is super effective against Empoleon. And this is at the least normally effective. We could try Charm. Mm -hmm. Roar as well. Okay, well, I don't think we need that. So we'll do that against Scissor, Scizor. We did next to nothing. I guess that's our opportunity. Well, it paralyzed you. That's still good. Earth power, hopefully a one hit, not even close. All right, flash counting coming in on Doxman, I think. Yikes, super effective. All right. 
This thing just has to use Trailblaze. What does this do? Not much, luckily. I was hoping that Paralyzation would do something, but at least we got rid of your um, thing. I guess back to Miascarada for now. Uh, I mean, I could go to Floatzel too. Let's try Floatzel. Um, and then I want to do a full revive. I think on Talonflame. I think Talonflame, because they seem to have a lot of Steel type stuff going on. So if I can do Earth Power on Empoleon like that, and then yeah, Floatzel. I want you to go to your bag, the uh, bag, Max Revive on Talonflame. I think that's our best bet for the time being. And then we can Terrasalize Talonflame when the time comes. Here comes Earth Power again. Can it please be a critical? It's not a critical, but it is still super effective. Grass not coming in, which hurts. Hurts a lot. Yeah, Float still couldn't do much there. This Empoleon just seems to have every type of move under its belt. <laughs> There's always so much I can do to protect. Uh. Now we can have this Talon Flame out. I wasn't really exactly ready to use it, but you know, I could use Masquerada for now. Swap in. This is like a defensive thing. And then we can do turn later, because I know those pointed stones, they pop up, it's such a pain. Earth power to finish off Empoleon. And then uh, we'll just do, I guess, Dark Pulse against you. It's the only thing that we have here that will really do decent damage. Almost enough to knock you out. Earth power coming in, Empoleon's done for. Awesome. It's something. We're getting somewhere. A lot of experience. The pounce is super effective. So there goes Masquerade. I guess now's the time where we bring out Talonflame. Like this. Oh man, we're in a rough shape again. But so are they. If we just can hang out a little bit longer. I know those pointed rocks are gonna be a problem. But here comes the Metagross. You're gonna Terrasalize out. I'm gonna Terrasalize my Talonflame. But it does half of its health from just the pointed rocks. It's not fair. Okay, bag. I'm going to max potion on Talonflame and then have Talonflame to Rastalize. Well, that's flying type, it's not even fire, I forgot. Um, it's super effective against the both of them, so you never know. I can just hope. Heal you up. HP restored. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. That's what I'm saying. We can hit both of you right here. I know the Terrasalization's coming out. It's not too big of a surprise. Oh man. This is tough. Problem is, it's a steel type parasitization. Is steel good against flying? I can't remember. I don't think it is. But I might be wrong. We'll find out soon enough. The heat wave coming in. You ate your berry there, so I don't know if you're gonna take damage. Your sizer's out. Okay, cool. This isn't so bad. Um, the alkaberry was used up, but you were knocked out anyways. That was weird. Uh, come on. Zen Headbutt is terrifying, but not enough to knock you out. Okay, this is our chance. We'll use Earth Power, because that's also super effective. This is our chance. Come on, if we can land these moves. Come on. Yes, we did it. Oh, man, that was tough. Crazy fight for sure. All right, we did it. We were able to defeat Amaris. It was not easy in the slightest. Well, look at all that experience coming in. You defeated Amaris would be a BB Elite Four. I am not enough. I see. 12,800, so at least we got our money back from getting defeated before. That's great. It was a hard fought battle for sure. You should be proud of yourself, but we win this one. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. I think sometimes it just takes time. Zebra, you truly are a kind person. Thank you. All right then, time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. All right, I'd love to see that. Aw, Elite Force Ameris defeated. I'm glad to see it. I will give you this TM2. It contains a favorite move of mine. You obtain TM225 hard press. You put it in your bag's TM's pocket. 
Hard press the target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater the move's power. It is up to you to help Kieran, Zebra. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. Bye. Oh hey, it's Drayton. Yo, champ in the making. And Swan Elite Four member Beat. Things are looking good for you. <laughs> Mara sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from outside. You just might be the one we need to shake things up in the league club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite Three. All right, I appreciate it. All right, well, there we go. And today we're taking on our second member of the Elite Four, which should be here in the polar region. I'm sort of going the wrong way, over here. This is, of course, Drayton. Challenging Drayton of the Elite Four um, in the polar plaza. He's BB League rank two. Okay, well, we just did rank four. So, I don't know, this might be a bit of a step up, but we might as well just get it done here. A very capable trainer of dragon types who firmly believes in having fun at all times. He's constantly tired during the day, but stays up late, lazing around anyway. From Opulucid City in Unova. Cool, so we'll go ahead and select this. So this is our destination, and uh, just try to head over. I guess I could start from here, the polar outdoor classroom. Run the polar biome. I don't see any more items, so I think that's where we'll leave it for now. Yeah, okay, so let's go and heal up our Pokemon, and then we'll try to take on Drayton here at Polar Plaza. Uh, there's a healing station right here. What would you like to do? Heal my Pokemon. All right. So, with that done, turning around here, uh, talk to me for the early trial, I definitely will. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're Zebra, right? One of the VB League challengers? Yep. You'll need to hand over 50 VP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. I have plenty, so go for it. Are you willing to pay? Yes. And there's Drayton. Whoa, hold up. My friend here gets in free. Whoa, really? Uh, are you sure, Tracer? The rules say, just charge it to my account. That'll take care of it, yeah? That's not, okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle core real quick. Well, that was interesting, we got it for free. Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. No, it's basically the exact same battle court as in, in the other plazas, just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Now that not not what you'd expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Now listen to me ramble. So let's hop to it. I call my elite trial terrarium only battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow elite clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught him. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets those conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun would it be if I if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through? And that's the fun of the game. <laughs> your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. So I guess we'll have to draft a whole new team here. What do you say, bud? Ready for my elite trial? Uh, what happens if I say I'm ready? I think he's gonna stop me, because that's not really the case. That's your cue, underlings, come on out. I guess not. Something weird's gonna happen here. I'm ready, hello, let's go. My trial's about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. If you wanna dive right in the battle and your three club mates, go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrarium catching Pokemon first? No problem. So go on, get out there and chill it up. Good luck, everyone give it your best shot. Elite trial, win the terrarium only battles. 
Will they be able to tell me which Pokemon I have that are not? Ready to trial it up. Wanna dive right into battling, rather go go take a breather. Either way is good. Show me your skill, but it's chill. So if I talk to you, you know Lono? Or Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her, so like, ready for a shock? What if I say yes? You know your Pokemon don't meet the trial conditions, right? Come back with only Pokemon you caught yourself here in the terrarium. Okay, so, I need to go, uh, here. Yeah, okay, so I'll go into my boxes and try to figure this out. If they have electric type Pokemon, that's good to know. We'll try to draft a team up that works for that. For now, we'll just put our current team in box 32 so we just know where they are and I don't have to try to rummage through for it later. But after this, I'll just try to figure out a team that will take on that kind of setup and see how it goes. So I'm sure it's not the most amazing team in the world, but I do have a decent setup here between X Control, Scrafty, Executor, Comfy, Grimer, and Vibrava. These all have like, you know, ground type moves or are at least relatively not weak to electric or even in some cases, the electric type moves won't do much like in terms of like grass and stuff. So hopefully we can make something work with this team. I'm gonna talk to you again and see if this is any good. You know, Iona, the streamer, I use the same type as her. So like ready for a shock, yes. Here we go, zap, pew, pew, pew. All right, so let's see if we can't handle this electric type trainer. I don't know if we needed a full team, but we have one. Let's see what we can do. You were challenged by Ray the student. And Ray has, Zeb Strike and Magnezone. All right, we have extra drill and Scrafty. Those ground type moves are gonna be the huge difference maker here. So, so cool to see Zeb Strike. Let's use Earthquake, but that'll also hurt Scrafty. So maybe we'll just do um, Drill Run? Sure. Drill Run against Magnezone. Then we have either Crunch, High Jump Kick, Focus Punch. Um, let's see. The user takes massive damage if it misses. This move fails if the user is hit before using the move. I'll try, well, no, 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 we can do this one. Um, and we'll do that against Find His Own too. We'll just try to take out one Pokemon at a time. I don't know how many they have, I should have checked. Ooh, that, that hurts for sure. So that's super effective. I don't know what move they use there. Come on, Drill Run coming in. And almost one hits Magnezone. Because they have Sturdy, it doesn't really work out super well. But uh, Try Attack coming in on Excadrill. Not very effective, which is very fortunate for us, but still somehow we're paralyzed. Okay. The Focus Punch coming in. I mean, obviously it's super effective, but we only need to do a tiny little bit of damage there, so not too worth it. And lots of experience coming in. Oh, you only had the one Pokemon. I thought we would have to have like a full team battle here. All right, we're just gonna do this. And then battle, high jump kick, like that, sure. Ooh, super effective there again, but it's okay. I thought this was gonna be some huge, super involved thing, so it's very silly that it wasn't. The drill run, boom, is enough to finish you off. Seb Strike, I'm so sorry. Critical hit, and you're done. All right, so there's our trainer done. All right, we defeated Ray the student. That was electrifying, all right. All right, so let's see this other trainer. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Uh, so you're gonna be ice type then, right? So let's go and get ready first. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't need as many Pokemon this time either. So this time I have Gravler, Scrafty, Maustic, Elekid, and Duosion. Now they're not crazy Pokemon, but none of them should be all that weak to ice types. And some of them have rock or fighting type moves, which are strong against ice types. So let's go against this trainer now and see how it goes. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Yes. So I guess we really haven't called as many Pokemon as I thought we did, because I feel like we would have had a larger selection, but <laughs> you're on. Let's see how this goes. But I'm glad we've taken the time that we have though to catch so many Pokemon, because if not, we'd be struggling or not. You're challenged by Winter the Student. They have Dugong and uh, Sand Slash here, or whatever, yeah, Sand Slash. 
So, what do I want to do first? Discharge is super effective, I guess, against both of them. And it's not very effective against Graveler. So, I guess we could do this. Sure, why not? And then battle. Let's do head smash against... I mean, I want to use it on sand slash. What about this? High jump kick. There we go. So, ice beam's coming in. That hurt a good bit. The high jump kick right there. Knocks out Sand Slash in one hit. I once again forgot to check how many Pokemon Winter has, but we'll find out in a moment. Okay, Graveler used Discharge. Here it is. It didn't do as much as I was hoping. That's okay. Scrafty is unfortunately the one to get paralyzed. Okay, no, Dugong also does. There's our chance then, right? This isn't your only Pokemon, so we're fine. Um, I'll just use Stone Edge against you then. In battle. I jump cake, sure why not. Stone Edge, gotcha, awesome. So these are a lot easier than I thought they'd be so far. I just hope we don't have to do this to actually take on Drayton as he's one of these. But Winter the Student is defeated. I can see why Drayton likes you. Aw. Okay, so that means we have you over here. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray stones, or brittle, brittle gray tones. Ready to battle me? Brittle gray tones, you mean like normal type because of the gray coloring? I don't know what else they're talking about, so it has to be normal type. So I'm hoping it's just normal type, but if it's just gonna be two Pokemon again, this even sort of balance between these six Pokemon should be enough to brute force anything down. So we have Scrafty, Meowstic, Elekid, Duosion, Grimer, and Seedra. Let's find out what you got. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones. I'm ready to battle you. Let's just go for it. So, hooray, good luck to the both of us. All right, we'll see for ourselves. You're challenged by Craig the student. I mean, Craig seems, sounds pretty normal. And, oh, maybe it's rock? I don't know now. I guess maybe it was supposed to be rock or ground. Whoops, that might not be so good. Yeah, I'm not really too much familiar with Bastion or Rampardos. But we'll just try Focus Punch, maybe? I don't know, let's do High Jump Kick. On Bastion, battle. Let's try this against Rampardos. Extra Sensory, hopefully it'll make you punch. It does something, that's decent. I jump com kick coming in too. Ooh, that's almost a one hit takedown, but they most definitely have sturdy. Okay. Rampardo's flinch, it couldn't move. Heavy slam coming in. Definitely does a number on Meow Stick. So, high jump kick on Rampardos then, and then just extra sentry on Bastiodon. Okay, that's enough for Bastiodon for them to be defeated. So it's really just the other one. Boom, Rampardo's defeated. Awesome. And I think that might be it. the gym leader defeated. All right, Craig, the student, it's not gym leader, but you know what I mean, gym trainer, elite four trainer, whatever. Your Pokemon are like gems. All right, well that was actually not as dauntingly difficult as I thought it would be, and that's fantastic. So that makes sense. Let's see, one, two, three. Nice, you went and, defeat, and beat all three of them which means this Elite Trial is Elite Complete. Elite Trial, win the Terrarium only battles, cleared. Awesome, that was definitely a lot more of an involved one than I was expecting, especially compared to um, the previous one. All right, my League Club assistants, retreat on the double. Goodbye, good battle, see ya. Aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing, bunch of sweethearts. I guess so. So, I have to change my team up a little bit, but then we'll be ready to battle. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. Guess you're still using the party you put together for my challenge though, huh? Go ahead, take a sec to change it up. Unless you wanna dive right into battle? Not yet. Go, got it, no rush on my end. Okay, so. Definitely gonna change our team back to what it was before. To do that, I will just uh, move you to a box like that. I mean, I guess I could just go all the way over here and just get everything where it's supposed to be. 
All right, we got the full setup here. Let's battle Drayton of the Elite Four. Ready to make take me on, bud? Yep, I'm ready. All right, it's on. Hmm, you should be good. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you're in battle, and I realized I've only seen, only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real, I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it, I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. Not sad. I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me normally like you would anybody else, Zebra. Here's the 100% Dracer truth. I'm so psyched I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling? Nice and easy. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. All right, so we are challenged by none other than our good friends here, Drayton of the BB League Elite Four. This is gonna be a crazy one, and it's a dragon type gym leader, so there's gonna be some interesting things going on. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me ugly cry. <laughs> I don't wanna see that either. So, let's see what's going on here. How do I wanna handle things? With dragon type Pokemon, they aren't super strong against anything besides dragon type, but they're weak to fire, water, electric, grass. So, if we just do some, some stuff, I mean, they're not weak to those things, so like super strong against them. So we just do things that aren't like that, like if I just do close combat against you, and then for Talonflame, I'll have to do something like Aerial Ace or Brave Bird. Uh, this, this can also damage them a lot. Or maybe even steel, I don't know. But uh, I think out of all of these, I mean, it's decent power. Might as well give it a try, try Dragonite. All right, so stealing coming in first. That did next to nothing. Okay, Flygon's gonna use Earthquake. Uh-oh, that's actually really bad for Palmont. It might be a one-hit takedown even. Almost, they toughed it out, I think, just for us. Yeah, thank you so much, Palmont. So maybe Palmont can actually get the chance to attack here. Flygon lost some of its health. We used the close combat, and that's not the finish off Flygon, so it actually worked out in our favor. I'm trying to save most of our Pokemon that can actually handle Dragon types for later on in the fight. I'm thinking that we probably want to use uh, Floatzel because it has the Ice type Terrestrialization, but a level up from Yaskarada as some Wind blew in. They're sending out Kingdra now, which should be, oh, I got that mixed up with the other Pokemon, I think. So that's not like super effective? I feel like it would be. I don't know, we'll try it, I think. And then Paul Much probably gonna get knocked out. So battle, let's try Aerial Ace against Dragonite and see if that's any better. Come on. I'm guessing this won't do too much damage. We won't even get the chance to see it. No, Paul Much toughs it out again. You are a superstar. The Hydro Pump coming in though. Everybody's beating up on Paul Mott. I'd rather you waste moves on the Pokemon that's sorta kinda doomed anyways. Uh, because now that gives Talon from the chance to just do a little bit of damage. It's not anything that's gonna, you know, change everything. But we could do Meow Skirati here and then do like Dark Pulse. Or we could do Oink Alone. I mean, we have the Super Fit Device Punch. Uh, we could try doing some things with Dox One, but I want to save that for when we really need it. So I think we just stick with Meow Skirata for now. Just like that. And, uh,. We don't want to do flower trick. Apparently, well, it's normally effective, at least against Kingdra, I guess. I don't know. Battle. Let's do Aerial Ace, I guess, against Dragonite. We're just slowly chipping you down. Here comes that Hydro Pump. Against Talonflame is actually a huge problem. Super effective and knocks out Talonflame. So, this uh, Kingdra is actually proven to be quite the issue. Here comes a Thunder Punch, which doesn't do much. It might paralyze that. Here comes the flower trick. I really hope this does the damage I'm looking for. Not too bad. Woo, that was beautiful. Seems like luck itself is a soft spot for you. I don't know if it was luck, just like with uh, Amaris. It's a lot of hard work. Okay, so Oinkalon's coming out. This is where things get intense for sure. Because we've only knocked out one of your Pokemon. You've now gotten rid of two of mine. 
So we use Flower Trick against Kingdra again. I wanna use Earth Power, maybe? No, let's use Headbutt against you. Oh no. I shouldn't do too much. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're hanging in there. The Ice Spinner, oh no. Against Masquerade, super effective, not enough to knock us out, that's good. This should be the end of Kingdra. Nice, there's that done. We'll see what you have next. Oh, tough so far, really tough so far. But that's where the dual typing can really help us out. We can level up for uh, Doc Spun there. Tailwind petered out, okay. Sceptile, but if they're like a dual typing, I think that was like a, I think, the one we just defeated was a water dragon type, so which is why the grass moves was fine. Septile is where we can use U-turn and it's super effective against you. Awesome. And then for you, um, we can use Belch and that's also, like one hasn't eaten any wild held. Okay, so I guess we can't do that. Let's go ahead and put you to sleep maybe, or maybe I should just do it ahead, but right here. Come on. Extreme speed though against the Meowskarata finishes it off, I don't get the chance. Darn, not good. So this is where things get intense, but we have some good options. I think this is where we switch over. Well, I probably don't want to switch over to Floodsil just yet because you're gonna be a grass dragon type, right? Septile with a crazy tail. Oh, so close, so, so close. So I think, I don't want to do that. I want to do Doc Spun for now. And this is where we can do maybe some decent numbers. Come on. Battle, super effective against you, and then just do headbutt against the other one. Leaf Storm is coming in on Blink alone. Not enough to knock you out, which is fantastic. So if we get this attack first here, yes, please, please. Play Rough coming in. It's decent, but not super effective. Lingering Aroma on everybody now. <laughs> Headbutt coming in. It's gonna knock out Dragonite with Oinkalon having a little bit left in the tank. That is fantastic. Extra experience. Haxorus is the next one. Oh man, terrifying. Haxorus breaks the mold. What do I wanna do here? Play rough, I think on Haxorus. And then let's just do Belch. I don't have the berries. I, I keep forgetting. That's not how that move works. I need to get some actual poison moves on you. Let's use Yawn on Sceptile. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, that hurts all of us, though. But not too much on, on Sceptile, actually. Oinkalon's gonna faint from that, very unfortunate. This is where things get scary, because I have one more Pokemon left, right? I mean, these are the two Pokemon that are good against Dragon types, but yikes, is it tough still. Play rough. One to take down, almost, come on! Whoa, not a lot of types can make me eat a super effective hit. I know. All right, here we go. This is our chance to really make things happen. Floatzel's gonna come out. Then, we play rough against, I might have to do it against Sceptile, and then have you get ice punched? Sure. Iron Head goes out first. No, come on! You're kidding me. Ah, these guys are so tough. It's crazy. All right, Doc Spun's gonna faint. I mean, we can finish off Haxorus here, but we're in such a bad spot beyond that. And now we only have Floatzel to take like all of these hits. Haxorus is gonna faint. And the Leaf Storm is coming. This is what I was terrified of, is that that's gonna be super effective. Come on, what are my chances here? What should I do? I mean, I, I guess I should like full revive Doc Spun. Arachulodon, what is Arachulodon? Whoa, okay. You're probably gonna terrestrialize that in a moment. So if I go to my bag and I max revive, use this item on Doxmon, I know I'm just probably gonna get knocked out anyways. There's only so much I can do. Doxmon's gonna come out so maybe it can at least defend against a couple of these moves. Now watch this dragon's blood boil. Take control, Arachulodon. Or Archilodon, whatever it is. Archilodon makes more sense because it's like a big arch to a building or something, I don't know. Weird Pokemon. So of course it's gonna be a dragon type terrestrialization, which means we can just get our fairy type terrestrialized now. It'd be a huge move. The dragon cheer 
It's gonna boost your attack even farther. Terrifying. It's getting pumped. Does it get to use a move here? Oh no. Ready to get blasted to smithereens? I won't leave you anywhere to run. Electro shot, I'm guessing against Floatzel. That is terrifying. Absorbed electricity. It's not gonna move this time. Okay, this is our chance. And Floatzel heals a little bit. Any amount can make a difference here. We could win this. All right, so battle, terrestrialize, and then play rough, right? We don't wanna do charm here. Yeah, we wanna do play rough on our, 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 our Archilodon, and then, uh, do I though? Hold on. I might just wanna get rid of Sceptile really fast, and then Ice Punch against Archilodon. Come on, here's my chance. We're not letting this happen easily, that is for sure. Full fairy type advantage here. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be so close. Come on. There comes that ice punch. Oh, it does some good damage, that's what we wanna see. Stamina, the defense rose. This is about to turn into a 2v1. If Doxbun can hold on and just knock out Sceptile here. Come on, yes! It's a two versus one, we can do this! All right. I got really bad there for a moment. But we're back to the advantage. Did we really even have the advantage until now whatsoever? I don't know. But there we go, level up for Floatzel. The Electro Shot's coming and that's gonna one-shot Floatzel for sure. I know, but it's okay. Because I still think we have the advantage here, right? If we can just hit you with a lot of play roughs, it's just my type versus yours. We're both terrestrialized and I have the typing advantage. This should be a win. Let's go for it. Come on, Doxbun. Hit it with everything you got. They avoided it, come on. Are you serious? Flash Cannon? Oh no, don't tell me. Oh. Out of all the moves to avoid. Well, that just ruined my mood. <laughs> Come on, we were so close. That just felt like it was like pre-planned against me. You have no more Pokemon that can fly. We're gonna lose a million dollars and I'll have to do it all again. I thought that's the worst part. I have to spend another 25 minutes battling. <laughs> all right, well, here we go again. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far. I was able to one hit Flygon with our Ice Punch. I think I'm gonna hit Dragonite with this one. I have, you know, Floatzel sort of starting out in front this time. We'll do Heat, heat Wave against Sceptile and of course Dragonite as a result, but come on. Floatzel avoided some attack there, that's great. Opposing Dragonite use Thunder Punch. That does hurt Town Flame pretty well, but we're already one up on them, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll do something like that, and that half play gets rid of Sceptile. I was hoping for a one hit there so that Sceptile doesn't do a lot of extra damage to Floatzel. We'll have to wait and see, but I still have Palma and the Blessing. That should, you know, revive them if needed. Anyways, weakness policy was used up. Healing going on. If Floatzel can just land this Ice Punch on Dragonite. They're eating a berry to prepare for it. Might not be enough, but it is still super effective. That's good. We got very weak in the damage to the opposing Dragonite. But it was all used up. So this is our chance to do Ice Punch against you again. But more than that, we can use Heat Wave against the both of you. This, the Leaf Swing. This is what I was scared about. And it's a one hit takedown. Come on. It's okay. I think it'll be fine. Because we can. Uh, it's destroyed by a Thunder Punch. We get paralyzed. Flame Body is gonna burn you a little bit. Okay, so things are looking a little bit scary, but I think we can take an advantage here in a moment. We're gonna Heat Wave, get rid of the Sceptile. Awesome, so Dragonite is still there. Two Pokemon down, we've only lost one. And Dragonite's almost the third Pokemon down here. We get a little bit of a heal, nothing too crazy, and we'll be able to throw up another Pokemon in a moment. I don't know which one we should go for at the moment, but Dragonite was hurt by its burn. Ah. Uh. I'll go with Mouscarata. I know it's not super effective at the moment, but depending on what they throw out, because they do have the one like seahorse kind of Pokemon, the Kingdra, and that's where Flower Trick can do decent at the least. So, we'll try this out. Battle, Flower Trick on Kingdra, and then Heat Wave, Aerial Ace. I guess we'll try Aerial Ace against Dragonite and see if it's enough to finish you off. Kingdra's gonna use Hydro Pump. Talonflame avoided it, that's huge. So now we're the ones avoiding things. It didn't really matter in the end, but Whatever. Okay, so here's our chance to do something. I think this is where we probably get Palmon out, but the, the flower trick's coming in. 
That's some decent damage right there. So now Palma comes out. Woo, that was beautiful. Seems like luck itself has a soft spot for you. I don't want to hear it after you avoided the one attack I needed to land out of the entire battle last time. Okay, Tailwind tempered out, or petered out. We're gonna go to Palmont. Things are getting intense, but we're getting so close to winning this thing, for sure. So, I think we just go with a flower trick on Kingdra again, and then I guess we could just do Discharge here if we wanted to. It'll hurt me up now, Scrout, a little bit, but uh, I think it'll be fine. I just hope we can throw out another Pokemon before we do Discharge, that way it can hurt another one. There we go, lots of experience. Ooh, was that level 99 for Palmont? Wait a minute, I think that might've been level 99 for Palmont. If so, that's huge, but Dragonite is knocked out. Okay, we're making huge progress here. Uh, yeah, level 99 for Palmont, that's huge. So it's now Archelodon, that's it. Okay, and Haxorus, Never mind. Uh, I thought that was the last one. Okay, so this is where we're gonna do some crazy things here. Haxorus is Mold Breaker, what do I wanna do? I think I might as well just do what I can, like this, and then battle Revival Blessing on um, Pozzo. Now watch this, Dragon's Blood Boil, take control, Archelodon. We know, we know. And that's gonna be for Doc's one to deal with, but we have such a good lead right now that we should be okay. Like I'm really a lot less worried about it this time. Do so we even have Oink alone if we really need it too? We can really, because how many turns does Terrastalization last for 10 during a normal fight? We have time. That is some decent damage too. The breaking swipe, ooh, that hurts. I don't like that at all. So, attack fell there, not super good. Revival Blessing finally activating. We're gonna use that on, of course, Floatzel. Right over here, just like that. And that's only going to give half health, but at this point, that might be enough. I was thinking about trying to find a way to heal them if we get loan out or something, but I'm just gonna keep going with this. No more Dark Pulse available to us, but now Scrod is gonna faint, and this is where we can, of course, get Floatzel out if we wanted to. You know what, sure, why not? We'll do that now and then we'll get Doc spun out as like the last one. Or the second to last, we can wink alone as like a stand-in to heal or revive. Let's just go ahead and hit, I guess Haxorus right now, if we can get rid of you, and then have close combat on the Ar Archelodon. But Earthquake comes in to ruin the fun so much. Somehow not knocking on either of them though, that's very lucky. I thought that was gonna be a guaranteed takedown on both of those Pokemon, but the Ice Punch is it for Haxorus. We have one more Pokemon left to defeat here. It is so doable. It's crazy how doable this is. Lots of experience coming in. And then close combat onto you. Doesn't do too much, but it's damage. Almost defense fell. Stamina coming up. Makes you even harder to defeat. Ready to get blasted to smithereens. I don't know about that one, buddy. You said that before, but I don't think it applies as much here. The electro shock coming in is definitely gonna go on Floatzel. Oh yeah, it has to charge. I always forget this. Uh, so we just do whatever we can. Absolutely anything. Just do damage before Dox Money even shows up. If you can do your big attack before we even terrestrialize, like that's huge. So, Archeladon, and then I guess just close combat. Because that'll do some pretty decent damage. We have you down into the yellow. Your stamina now is uh, raising you higher and higher, but we're getting so close. Come on. Maybe we won't even need Dox Spun, depending on how this plays out. Electro Shot, this has to shoot it, right? Oh man. Ooh, right on the float, so not too surprising. This is where we get Dox Spun out. Do I even, do I even Trastalize here? Do I just, I mean, I might as well to play it safe, but uh, Dox Spun, go, swap in. And, battle, play rough. Finish you off, for sure. Here we go. This has gotta be it. So just by starting with Floatzel out front and just defeating a couple of the Pokemon easily, that really had us have a good headway so I could just defeat the rest of them, no problem. Really happy to see it. So, close combat coming in. If this finishes you off, I was gonna say that'd be really funny. But, as soon as we can. Salmon arises. It's not gonna be enough for this final play rough. 
come on. No avoiding it this time. Thank you. Oh, man. Archeladon fainted. We have defeated Drayton. That was so tough. Archie defeated Drayton in the BB League. No problem. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, well, we make our money back from losing before. Our Pokedex, Pokedex has been updated. That's half of the Elite Four all finished up. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member, finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? Of course. <laughs> Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of, of you for the club roster. All right. So as you can see, for all of our hard work, we get Elite Four's Drayton defeated. And a fun photo. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She might not be thrilled, but no oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait a year a sec. All right. Sorry for the hold up, I'm back. So that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Here's your reward, like I said. You obtain TM226 Dragon Cheer. Awesome. Dragon Cheer, the user raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. This rouses dragon types more. Guess I should have cleaned it, but that was a little dust between friends. Oh hey, it's Kieran. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Zebra? What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Zebra had gotten weaker. But you seem, seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Zebra, go all the way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't make it to me. <laughs> Someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite too. All right, well, thanks for the battle. And we're out of there. So that was awesome, we get 2,800 in prize money. As you can see here, we could get a couple more things done. We are continuing with taking on more of the Elite Four members of, of course, the Blueberry Academy. Down this way in the Savannah biome, we have our next one, which is, of course, Crispin. Um, challenging Crispin of the Elite Four, league rank number five. Cooks, cooks up amazing, super spicy dishes with his fire Pokemon. Still relatively new to battling, but fights tenaciously with natural talent. Not the most gifted student from Vibrank City in Unova. Very cool. So, yeah, let's go over to you. Talk to me for the elite trial. I will. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Zebra, right? One of the BB League challengers? Yep. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the elite trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Sure, I have a thousand exactly, so that'll knock me back down to 950. You paid 50 BP. Thank you very much, duly received and noted. Hey Crispin, an order's just come in for you. <laughs> I like the frying pan, coming right up. Oh hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're zebra, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at a nice simmer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. All right, off we go. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four is pretty much, pretty much right after coming to our school. Now that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drain like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. 
And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames. I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the League Club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my elite trial, Zebra? Uh, I think so. I'm ready. I'm not much of a chef, but I can try. Sweet. Give me a hot minute to get everything set up. All right. So our third trial here is all about cooking up a spicy sandwich. And there's a lot of these little uh, trainers around. First thing first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. All right then, let's start this, now. All right, Elite Trial, make a super spicy sandwich. I'll do my best. So make a super spicy sandwich. Uh, we don't have any ingredients at the moment. No, I don't wanna give up. Uh, be me for potato salad. Uh, I don't think it'll be spicy, but sure. I've got some potato salad if you want. You'll have to beat me in battle to get it though. I'll battle you. I'll mash you like a potato. We'll see about that one. All right, here we go. You're challenged by Julian, the student. Doing the students in a camera up and one other Pokemon there. Very cool. Got camera up and Electros. Interesting. So I probably want to use Heat Wave because it'll damage Electros, and then Palmot can maybe just do close combat against Camera up to finish it off. We'll see. Decent damage. Of course, the Camera up doesn't take too much damage from it, but there we go. That finishes you off. So we're just focusing on the Electros now, which is. A little bit of a threat towards Tail and Flame, electric versus flying, but maybe it'll be okay, maybe it'll be fine. Here comes Discharge. Oh, that does do a lot of damage. We did get a level up for one of our Pokemon. Ooh, and the Paralyzation coming out too. A little bit of rough shape here. I'm going to go ahead and use a, I guess a Heat Wave against you again. And then I guess Close Combat is really my best bet. So Close Combat's gonna start things off here and be a one hit takedown on you and I think that'll be this trainer fully defeated. We'll see. All right, there we go. So some easy experience there. Oh, we're level 100 with Palma. So it doesn't max it at 99, it maxes out at 100. Awesome. Yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. All right, we get 6,600 in prize money. Very cool. All right, so we got our first level 100 Pokemon. It's so exciting. I don't know when that happened, but uh, my potato salad says it wants to go with you. You received a helping of potato salad. There's something so restorative about carrying potato salad around, don't you think? Uh, maybe? Oh, did we get healed there? I think we did. Uh, there's our potato, potato, potato salad. I don't think I can heal my Pokemon from here, so I'm guessing that it just does it itself. Marmalade and mustard. I think marmalade is spicy, right? I don't know. I think I bought too much marmalade, and I really don't need this all this mustard either. Would you be willing to trade your vinegar for either my marmalade or my mustard? Uh, I don't think I have vinegar. Uh, I don't think you have vinegar. Okay, uh, trade you a jalapeno. Well, I'm in a fine pickle, I am. I'm missing two old ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you front me some prosciutto and olive oil. I don't have any. All right, uh, broader horizons. Oh man, I want some eggs. I really, really want some eggs. If you've got any eggs, I'll trade you something that'll really broaden your horizons. No thank you, because I don't have any eggs. Okay, so who here even wants the potato salad? Um. Chili sauce or ketchup? Wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about you? If you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce or ketchup? Uh, I don't have any right now. Let's see, what about you? Let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. 
What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me if you've got it. Uh, potato salad. Oof, incorrect. Don't know how you came up with an answer like that. I guess it's our only possible answer because it's all we have. Um, well, there's two more trainers over here. Mayonnaise, which is I think what we get for the, the, answer, the question he just asked. Uh, do you want mayonnaise? I'll share some with you, but only if you can defeat me. How about you? It's, oh, it's Mayon now. <laughs> all right. Let's see what you got here then. You were challenged by Carmela the student. He seems a little nervous. They're sending out Pyroar and Pyroar. Oh yeah, there's two different forms of Pyroar. Very cool. Uh, so I guess for the time being, we should probably just do like an aerial ace against maybe one of them. It'll do close combat against the other. All right, here we go. Decent damage there from the aerial ace. The close combat should definitely be a one hit takedown. There it is. I wouldn't mind switching out one of these Pokemon, of course, to be Floatzel. But there goes Pyroar Fainting. And Pyroar used Yawn against uh, Palmont. I think we should be able to finish this up pretty quick right here, though. We'll just use Aerial Ace and then close combat again. It looks like it's just two Pokemon for each trainer so far. So there's that done, no problem. This is a pretty involved challenge so far. We get level 95 for Oink alone. I may have underestimated you. <laughs> All right, that one was pretty funny. All right, so with that done, here's some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good, so spread the word. You received a bottle of mayonnaise. Here, let me heal up your Pokemon so there's no sour feelings between us. All right, thank you. And uh, what about you? Three ingredients, if you give me something. Man, I've got a hankering for some of that potato-y stuff you can, that, you can, you, that you eat cold, you know? I'd hand over three ingredients just for a bit of it. Get any of that potato-y stuff for me? Uh, potato salad, here you go. Yes, this is it. You won't believe how much I've been craving potato salad all day. Here you go, three ingredients in exchange for your potato salad. You handed over your potato salad and received helpings of onion, cucumber, and prosciutto. All right, that is really cool and super helpful because we can run back over here and first off offering to you the mayonnaise. So, what do you get when you, when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? I'm pretty sure mayonnaise, am I, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, the answer is mayonnaise. You've got five star knowledge, I see. And here's your prize, three whole ingredients at once. You received a helping of egg, a cruet of olive oil, and a cruet of vinegar. Now one person wanted vinegar, but chili sauce or ketchup for, what was it again, a cucumber? Lovely green cucumber. How about you, if you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce or ketchup? Uh, I'll trade you for the chili sauce, that's gonna be spicy. Wow, you even sliced the cucumber for me? That is that is perfect, let's trade. So, bottle of chili sauce is all ours. And, uh. Chili sauce or ketchup, wait, do you have more? I wouldn't mind exchanging the chili sauce I gave for some ketchup if you'd like, no thank you. I wanna keep with the chili sauce. Over here though, broader horizons. What did you need again? Oh man, I want some eggs, I really, really want some eggs. You got some eggs, I'll trade you something that'll really broaden your horizons. Sure, I'll trade. Woohoo, way to make the correct choice. Here we go, jump. You handed over a helping of egg and received a helping of chorizo, which I don't really know what that is. But interesting. Uh, trade you a jalapeno. Well, I'm in a fine pickle, I am. I'm missing two whole ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you give me some prosciutto and olive oil. I have both. Yes, you've got a real big heart, you know? All right, so you handed over the prosciutto and olive oil and received the helping of jalapeno. And then what about you? Marmalade and mustard. I think I bought too much marmalade and I don't really need all this mustard either. Would you be willing to trade vinegar? Yes, okay, so. I'll trade for the marmalade, I think that's spicy. I don't really know too much about marmalade is, but it seems like it could be. Okay, whoa, wait a minute, what are you doing over here? Jalapenos. We all know jalapenos are super spicy, and guess what, I've got some. And I'll, I'll also have you know I'm good at battles, like really good. Well here we go. You look like you want jalapenos, so I'll give you a choice. You wanna battle me for some? or buy them off of me for 50 battle points. I'll battle you just for the sake of it. Like I said, I'm really strong. I think you might regret your decision. 
We'll see about that one. So the battle for the jalapenos. Here we go. You are challenged by Rox the student. Or maybe Rahu, I don't know. How to exactly pronounce that name, sorry. Uh, we got Torkoal and Blossom as our starting Pokemon to take on here. That shouldn't be too bad. And you have four Pokemon in total, so this is definitely where things can get interesting. We could do Heat Wave, it'll be super effective against Blossom, or we could just do Aerial Ace against you. I think we'll do Heat Wave because it'll hit both. And then we can do um, Close Combat against Torkoal. Ooh, almost a one-hit takedown on the loss, and that would have been fantastic. I know it's not very effective against Torkoal, but between that and the close combat, it might be enough damage to take you down entirely. We'll find out. It is awesome. So, with that being said, three more Pokemon from them left to take out. So Torkoal is out for the count, and Moonblast, whoa. That was super effective with that burn damage coming in a little bit more. Okay, so Vile Plume coming out next. Interesting. Both of these should be weak to, of course, Heat Wave. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, I guess we'll just, maybe just switch you out for something. I guess right now we could do Miascarada. I mean, the fire types start coming out here. I guess we could do Float Salt. We'll have to see if this is a good idea, because in the meantime, Blossom and, um, Vile Plume might actually be super effective against Floyd Soul to start things out. So let's see if we can't do, do some good damage here to start things between these these four Pokemon. There you go, almost enough to knock out Vile Plume in one hit. Unfortunately, not quite there, but a good try. So, Moonblast coming in again. Honestly, I'll take Moonblast, you know, opposed to other moves. What do you have next? So you should be throwing out one more Pokemon. It's Magmar. We just caught you earlier. So this is where we will, I guess, I might want to be a little bit more determined with the Vile Plume. And then we have Wave Crash, 120. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Aerial Ace coming in to finish off Vile Plume. Then lastly, the Wave Crash. Should maybe defeat Magmar and want to hit. I sure hope so. Come on, Wave Crash coming in. This will be really good. Oh, there it is, super effective one hit takedown. Exactly what we wanted to see. And yeah, Floyd still takes some damage from the recoil, but not anything to really worry about too much. There we go, we defeated Rox the student. That's a whole lot of pain, yo, what a burn. All right, so 7,500 in prize money. I see you're a jalapeno-worthy trainer. You received the helping of jalapeno. Here, let me heal your Pokemon after all that. Thank you. So with that being said, unless there's other trainers around that are hiding behind rocks or something, uh, I think we've talked to them all and have gotten whatever we can out of it. That one was pretty sneaky. So I'll just check behind this rock real fast. There's nobody behind here, which it doesn't seem that there is. I think we're good to go. That was pretty cool. So, ready to get cooking? Got everything you need? Want to start making a super spicy sandwich? I want to start. I can tell you're co I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to something extra spicy then. Okay, so with all of our ingredients, we have an onion, chorizo, and jalapeno. Um, I thought we would get like multiple extras, but I guess not. So, I mean, that's fine because we get like onion, meat, and jalapeno. That's like a good combo for a sandwich, right? Oh, and then we add this stuff. So we can do chili sauce, marmalade. I don't know if it's gonna be a good sandwich, but it, it's it's good for you know some things. Fiery pick a pick design after Magmortar. It's said that using this pick makes any sandwich look like it's fresh out of the oven. Cool. Look at all of this stuff coming together. Whoa. Okay, so pile on the ingredients. I guess I'll get the jalapenos on first. So it like hits the tongue first. I don't know, I'm not much of a sandwich maker. Gotta be honest. But uh, I'll do my best. We got plenty of time just to put it all together. And then the chorizo. Then we have more jalapeno over there. So we can like layer it, that'd be cool. I, I would, can I turn these around? and like spin them, oh no. Oh no! Wait, it's gone? Just for good? Oh no, I'm sorry. 
I thought I could maybe like pick it up and like turn it around or something, but it looks like I can't do that. So it is what it is. Um, there you go. Okay, put the bread on top like this. That wasn't so bad. And then the peck. Nice. We got most of. What do you? It's falling over. Whoa. So a little lacking on the, tr the chorizo there, but it's okay. Still overall it looks pretty tasty. Uh, now what? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we have to take a good look at it. All right, try this one. Why are we eating? Oh no, I thought we were. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought it was his sandwich. There we go, super spicy. Wait, was that not good? A tasty zebra original. What is with the, the, the goo on the top? Was it, it, why, is it stinky? It just needs a little bit more heat. Just a pinch more to get a good amount of spice going. Is it because I dropped the chorizo? This is not enough to wow old Crispin. Sorry, but you gotta try again. I think it's because I dropped the one chorizo. That is so upsetting. So, apparently I didn't know what marmalade was. I thought marmalade was like a horseradish kind of thing. That's what I was thinking of, but I, I've never had either. I just know that horseradish I think is spicy. Uh, and then I didn't think it was mustard because I don't know, I haven't had a ton of mustard. I don't like mustard from what I've tried of it. So I just, from what I've had of it though, it wasn't very spicy, I just didn't like it. <laughs> but I tried mustard instead of marmalade this time. From what I can tell, that's the only thing I really got wrong. But I got all the ingredients onto there now. So maybe this is good enough. If not, I'm truly confused. All spiced up, all spiced up, come on. Yeah, there it is. All right. I was a little bit worried for a moment, but a tasty zebra original with three stars, a lot better than a one star dish, that is for sure. So, woo, this isn't spicy anymore. It's just pain. I'm burning up all the way inside. Even the spiciest of souls would have loved that super spicy sandwich. So you know what? I think I can already give you my verdict. You pass. That was absolutely perfect. Your sandwich brought the heat like nothing else. Elite trial, make a super spicy sandwich cleared. All right, might have been my least favorite one so far, but at least it was neat. I'm gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. So I guess we're ready for a battle now, huh? Well, that wraps up the trial. So now it's time to face me in an elite battle. You all prepped and ready to take me on? I think as much as I'll, I'll ever be. Coming right up, watch out, cause I'm cranking up the heat. All right, let's get going. So, Zebra. I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? And it sure seems like Drain cooking up something fishy too. Ugh, everything's getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you wanna say something, just say it. If you wanna do something, just do it. I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I wanna battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in, in this here Savannah biome. I wanna win, so that's exactly what I'll do. All right, let's see how it goes. Well, that is so cool. You were challenged by Crispin of the BB League Elite Four. And they have Rotom and Talon, like the toaster version of Rotom is so funny. All right, let's go for it. We got two talent flames out here. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. Yeah, we already did the cooking part. So we got level 77 talent flame and Rotom. I think the first thing we will do is just maybe, I guess we could just do an aerial ace against the other talent flame, and then maybe discharge on who? Oh, I see, yeah. Maybe we can just do Nuzzle for now and we'll switch out talent flame soon. I really gotta get a move on Palm Up that's not gonna affect everybody like that. If someone's gonna turn harsh, we'll do Aerial Ace against you, and then if we do Nuzzle, that'll do a lot of damage too. There we go, almost enough to knock you out. Super effective there. You're really gonna douse our flames if you keep using moves like that. 
All right, so Talonflame is paralyzed and maybe unable to move the Thunderbolt coming on Talonflame. Our Talonflame not looking so good. So Talonflame knocked out, but honestly, not too big of a deal. I mean, obviously, my heart goes up to my Talonflame, but I just want to make sure that, you know, the typing part isn't too drastic. So far, it's fine. The only thing I'm worried about here, of course, is that uh, Floatzel's water type, that uh, Rotom is electric. Could get pretty dangerous unless we make some other moves against it first. So this is what I'll do for now. We'll battle and I will use Earth Power against Rotom and then just have um, you do Nuzzle again. All right, here we go. Nice. Talonflame is knocked out and then hopefully we can get a one hit takedown onto the Rotom if we're lucky here. We'll find out in just a moment. The opposing Rotom is Will Wisp. Not bad. So far, it's not looking like it's gonna damage us too much here. It's just burn. Here comes Earth Power. Levitate makes it avoid it entirely. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Okay, that's not good. Um, Should have thought about that, but let's see what you say now. Now, Executor. Interesting. Now, I could use Earth Power against you. It wouldn't be very effective. I could just try Headbutt and then Close Combat wouldn't be very effective. I think this is where we change Pokemon again. And I suppose I use Masquerade, especially now that there's not any fire types out there at the moment. This might be our chance to make the most out of Masquerade, and then we can U-turn her out to Floatzel once a fire type shows up. Right now, this battle we're going against here isn't very friendly to the water type, so they're using Protect. Okay. Overheat's coming in on Oink alone, that's a little concerning. So, what do we wanna do here? Oink alone's gonna use Headbutt, don't tell me that I'll miss. Oh no, okay, it's gonna, yeah, because of the protection. It's fine, I think. Oink alone is sorta of hurt here. Uh, let's just do Yawn against the Rotom, cause I'm sorta of getting sick of it, and then we'll do Dark Pulse against Executor. Here we go. That'll be a critical too, right? So decent damage. Well, super effective. It's not critical. Gonna eat your berry too. And that health goes up quite a lot. We are still at a good spot to maybe knock you out next turn if we can last that long. Will Wisp on Meow Scarada isn't super preferred, but it's okay. Come on. Or Tom's gonna go drowsy from that, which is really nice. Executor flinched, which is pretty big. So, the burn is gonna do its thing on both Winklin and Meowskarada. Not enough to knock anybody out though, so that's good. The Harvest, Harvest of the Citrus Berry, great. <laughs> All right, uh, we will do Headbutt against Executor, just to help maybe finish it off a little bit more, like that. Oh yeah, because that's not enough. So yeah, the headbutt should be able to do the trick here. I sure hope. And then Rotom should be snoozing. So now was a lot more health than I was expecting. Come on, the overheat coming out again is gonna finish off Link alone. A little frustrating. If you could just start snoozing soon so we don't have to deal with you anymore. Why is Rotom like the biggest struggle here? It's not even a fire type. All right, Executor use Solar Beam. Come on. That might hurt, I don't know. Okay, not very effective, we're fine. So this is where we can throw out a Pokemon, right? The Harsh Sunlight faded. We're taking more burn damage. One is Rotom gonna fall asleep, finally. That buys me some time. So we don't have too many moves that are super effective against Rotom, I guess, or maybe, I don't know, because this wouldn't be super effective against, we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay, Floatzel, come on out. Got a couple things we want to do here then. So, Wave Crash against Rotom. I guess maybe it is part fire type. And then finally, if we can just get rid of this Executor. Really happy to see that. Executor fainted. Now Rotom. Get some good experience there. This is proving to be a tough battle so far, but I think we can hold out just a little bit longer. Knock out Rotom. Very nice. Rotom fainted. What do you have next, huh? Yeah, Floatzel's damaged by the recoil quite a lot. Level 95 for Floatzel is pretty good, though. Okay, so, Yaskarada coming in with some burn damage, but that's okay. 
Mag Mortar, which definitely can be handled by Float Soul. And Camerupt. So if we could do um, Surf here, right? Surf would hit everyone, but I think it would be worth it. And then we can maybe just do uh, Dark Pulse, just as some extra damage. Because I have a feeling you're about to Terrastalize, right? Or maybe the Pokemon after this one, I don't know. Okay, here comes Surf. You're gonna prepare with your berry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. A knockout for the camera up. It's just us and Magmortar now, which I can only imagine is a Pokemon that will ter terrestrialize, considering that it's the one that's always next to Crispin. Come on. Here comes a Thunderbolt though. No, it gets the float, so I should have expected that sooner. Very unfortunate. Darn. Now Scarada taking some more burn damage and a lot of risk against a fire type. Let's pull out Palmot or Dock Spun. Um, I think for now we'll just do Palmot. There we go. Because at the least it's not gonna be like any kind of typing disadvantage, you know? We'll see what we can do. Blaze again? Uh-oh, so there was another one. This is a little scary. What can we do here? Close combat, discharge. I think we can try discharge. If it hurts Mascarada, it hurts Mascarada, but I think we do f uh, Dark Pulse, maybe? Or maybe I do U-Turn. Let's, uh, let's do Dark Pulse. We'll just do whatever damage we can, because you're gonna be terrestrialized here in a moment anyways. I can already tell. Uh, here it is. Time to terrestrialize and really turn up the heat. Go on, Blaziken, burn bright red. Uh-oh. This is intense. Probably should terrestrialize sooner rather than later. Here comes a fire terrestrialization. Oh, good. Dark Pulse coming in will do, you know, a little chunk of damage. Nothing I can complain about there. Okay. It's damaging down a little bit more. Mag Mortar gets paralyzed. So I think that we just probably want to terrestrialize Palma here. Hope you're hungry, because Crispin's Flaming Hot Special is coming right at you. Temper Flare, whoa. And they're gonna knock out uh, Meowskarada. That's not too surprising. So is gonna faint. We're gonna throw out our last Pokemon, which should be Doxpun. Magmortar used Heat Wave on, I guess, Palmoth. That did way more than I wanted it to. Ooh, okay. So, Doxpun is our last full health Pokemon here. Might as well get it in. So, if we can use our moves first, which we should be able to, battle. Do a full terrestrialized discharge, and then Doc Spun can just do play rough on the Blaziken to finish off whatever might be left. I think that'd be fine. We'll find out in just a moment. Come on. Wait, is that electric? I forget, yeah, okay. I forgot if it was an electric terrestrialization. It is, it is, we're fine. So here comes discharge. This will obviously hurt Doxpun too, but not enough that I'm all that worried. I just hope that Doxpun does not get paralyzed from him, but Magmortar is out. So it's up to Doxpun just to use a play rough to finish things off. Temper Flare is gonna come in now. You can only use it against one Pokemon though. It's gonna focus on Palma, so Palma is out. That's fine with me. Because this last hit should do the trick, right? I sure hope so. Come on, there it is, and just barely with one Pokemon remaining, we defeat uh, Cinder, what is your name again? Crispin, that's your name. We defeated Crispin on the first try, the first time we've done that with an Elite Four member here in Blueberry Academy. Fantastic. Oh, they're hiding their face. I wanted to win, but I lost. We got a lot of money from him too. Woo, that was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, huh, Zebra? I love battles and I love cooking, because they're just both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could get ba go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey. Didn't mean to douse the flames there. You were real strong, Zebra. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. All right, so Elite Four's Crispin has been defeated. 
Awesome. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. You obtain TM 207, Temper Flare. Temper Flare, spurred by desperation, the user attacks the target. This move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. Interesting. I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is, crank up the heat all you want in the BB League, Zebra. I'll do my best. Thanks for the battle, Crispin. Oh hey, it's uh, Drayton again. Yo, 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 champ in the making. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Crispin's no pushover, he's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to call it uh, to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are too, in his own way. You know, bud, Seeing the skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it's such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is gonna be against Lacey. She's no pushover, tell you what, but you ought to be able to take her, bud. See you soon, show us what you got. All right, so yeah, we have one more elite four member waiting for us in the next episode, but for right now, it looks like we've done a great job. Now we're heading into the coastal biome to take on the fourth and final member right up here. Now we've technically defeated her already at the beginning of the DLC, it is Tracy. But as you can see, this hard worker only catches Pokemon she finds cute. So she naturally became a masterful trainer of fairy types. She's beloved by her fellow students from Nimbasa City in Unova. Let's head over here where I can heal my Pokemon and go on this Elite Four trainer battle finale. So the healing station is right over this way. All we need to do is sort of touch up on the health of Talonflame, I think it was. Yeah, Talonflame just needs a little bit of a heal. And I wonder what the uh, the challenge will be this time. Because last time, I mean, honestly, all the times, they've been pretty particularly challenging. We get light screen there. Where is the actual sort of person who works at the table though. Right up here maybe? Uh, not quite. Oh, there you are. Talk to me for the elite trial, the final one. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey, the Elite Four. And you're Zebra, right? One of the BB League challengers? Yep. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the elite trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Yes. Here it is, so we're down to 1450, right? There you go. Thank you very much, duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Coming. We meet again. Oh, if it isn't Zebra. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. All right. Seems like a peaceful area, lots of flowers. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I really am sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Zebra. Of course, it's true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs, but mainly I didn't want you to get dragged into the trauma that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, though, so let's get into it and have some fun. The trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Oh, really? Are you ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz, Zebra? I'm ready. So this one might not either be the hardest or the easiest one. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Great, then I'll just get everything ready. Oh, it's Pikachu. Elite trial tests your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. So cute. Question one. All right, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electrotype Pokemon, well known for producing electricity with its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Go right for the body part you think is correct. Well, I'm pretty sure 
keeps it in the cheeks right there. Which part of the body does a Pikachu store electricity? The cheeks. All right, we get the green check mark. I guess we get it right, one out of five. Ding, 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 you got it. Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock, but don't you think they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the, our next quiz question. Oh, really? Whoa, okay, question two. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you'd think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venona is able to use a certain part of its body like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. What part of Venona's body acts like a radar? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. I can only guess that the antenna would be the answer here. Which part of Venona's body functions like radar? Um, oh, wait, there we go, the antenna. No? Hmm, oh, that's close, but incorrect. I do see why you'd think that though. I'll give you a hint. What we're looking for is quite a large part of Venonat's body. Now, guess again. Okay, has to be the eyes. Interesting. Ding, 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 that's right. It's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees a whole world we can't see? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. All right, well, we technically got one right and one not so right, but here we have question three, getting wary of my quiz. How about a cup of tea? Or maybe these three Sinisty siblings? Here's question three. Sinisty like to live in precious antique teacups, but there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these Sinisty is an antique form Sinisty, meaning it found a real antique cup. So which Sinisty has the real deal? I mean, I think you'd find out by the marking on the bottom, right? Sort of hard to tell from here, but as they do that little spin, I think I saw a little bit of something on the bottom of this one. Let's let them do that one spin one more time. That one doesn't look like it has much, but uh, oh, you can see there's a little mark on the back of that one. Okay, it has to be this one then. Were we right? It is the antique form of Sinistee. Like on the bottom side of it. Ding, 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 you spotted it. That's right, an antique form of can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form, they're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. All right. Whoa, question four. This is the Meteor Pokemon, Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know? I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish mini or what for me, okay? Whoa! Uh. All right, guys, mix yourself up real good. I'm looking at the pink one. Perfect, now we're ready for question four. Which one of these is the pinkish mini that I first showed you? It should be this one on the far right. Which mini is the pink one you saw first? this mini here. It looks like we were correct. All right, not bad. Thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult. Ding, 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 you did it. Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't mini or adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Final question. Oh look, here comes Grandpa. Maybe I heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question five, will involve Granbull here. Granbull is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? Uh, I don't know. What are our options? Which part of Granbull does Lacey use as a pillow? I would imagine the tummy. I don't know if it even lets me choose too much, the legs, the arms. It's gotta be the tummy. All right, there we go. Ding, 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 that's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. 
When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. Aw. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five of my questions right, which means... Congratulations, Zebra! You've officially cleared my Elite Trial. Awesome! Elite Trial, test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz cleared. I thought that was gonna be a lot tougher, but overall, we only sort of messed up with one question, and they allowed us to, you know, try it again, so that's fine. Why don't we head back to the plaza? All right, we're back, and I guess we're ready for the battle. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? I think I am. Let's get going. Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Okay. Okay, this should be far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Zebra. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, ah, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all this already, right, Zebra? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to make it to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding, after all. You're about to learn the cuteness is real strength. All right, well, here we go. Our final BB Elite Four member to challenge your challenge by Lacey, the BB League Elite, Elite Four. <laughs> All right. So they have Whimsicott and uh, the other thing that we just saw before. <laughs> Let's go for it. This time I'll be facing with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. So Gramble and Whimsicott, I think that some of these are dual types, which does actually make it a little bit easier for me to take some of them on. So like things like Heat Wave, I can go ahead and hit you both, and it'll be super effective towards Whimsicott specifically. Then maybe I could do this against you? I don't know if fighting, that's the one thing. Fighting isn't very good against fairy, so maybe that was a silly idea to do. Um, I think it was. But either way, we do half of the health of Whimsicott knocked out right away. It's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. Yep, that's exactly what I'm expecting here, unfortunately with Paul Mop, but the opposing Gramble was burned, and that's not gonna do too much. It still does a decent little chunk, actually. All right, well this battle's only now starting to heat up. The play rough is gonna do some good damage to Paul Mott. Not too surprised. I think we'll probably do another uh, heat wave here as you and then maybe just have you switch out for something. This is where I gotta be careful, because Fairy is also good against Dark, and Masquerada is a Grass Dark, so maybe we should do something like Floatzel for a bit? That might be good, or we could just have our own Fairy Pokemon out here just for a little too, just to sort of have some defense, you know? I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll just do Oink Lunt for the time being. Okay, Palmot's gonna come back. And with Oink alone out, Talon Flame can use Heat Wave, and I think we'll be okay. All right, Heat Wave coming in. Whimsicott avoided out of all the Pokemon. I bet you're the one I wanted to hit. Here comes Moon Blast, so that doesn't do too much. We're okay. The Play Rough, also not gonna hurt us too badly. The Lingering Aroma is really nice to put over Gramble's Intimidate. And there's the Burn to almost finish off Gramble. Okay, once again, another heat wave on the both of them. And then I guess for right now, we will just do headbutt against Whimsicott just in case it has some health left over. There we go, but that won't be the case. So we'll see what Pokemon pops up next that Oinkalone will be headbutting. So two down for you. Technically, we still have all six of our Pokemon still. Really good. And level up for both uh, Talonflame and Oinkalone. Oh, the headbutt failed, okay. Primarina, interesting. Whoa, look at you. Very pretty Pokemon. And the Slowbro. So these are both water types, right? I don't know. 
Um, obviously that's a different form of Slowbro, I guess the Galarian one, right? So I'm guessing that wouldn't be so good. Maybe we should try the Steel Wing against you, and then Earth Power? I don't know if that'd be good, actually. I mean, maybe. We'll try it. That didn't do much. Uh, Earth Power against you, though. Also, didn't do much. Uh, the Hyper Boy's coming in. Ooh, super effective on Tail and Flame. And a critical hit on Link alone. This is where things get a little bit scary. I was not expecting the Steel type move to like, do no damage. Throat spray was used up. Swordbro uses Psychic, and that's gonna knock out Town Flame. So this is where things can get pretty scary. How do we want to handle this one? Because if we can see here, it doesn't even tell me if Paul Musk moves are super effective or not, because we just have not gone against this Pokemon. This is where things can get really, really risky, but I'm going to try to just do a very quick uh, Dark type, not Dark type move, that's not gonna be very good against it, right? So I could just try Flower Trick, because I think that these might also be water types. It's hard to tell. Um, let me try Earth Power against Slowbrow. It'll at least be a guaranteed critical. Ooh, super effective. Okay, I was right about that one. Critical hit coming in. Why did you have to land a hit that, that kind of that kind of hit? Now that's just not right. You've been landing some pretty hard hits here yourself, but let's see what we get here. Link alone use Earth Power. And it is super effective. Slowbro's gonna use Psychic, I think again against Oink alone, probably enough yet to knock you out. A little unfortunate there, but it's okay. We are sort of starting to run a lot lower on Pokemon. Light screen worn off. Didn't even realize it was going on. So let's have Doxbone out here as a little bit of a placeholder. Okay, Alcremi. Okay, this is the uh, evolution of Milcery, I think. So for right now, we'll do Flower Trick against Slowbro. We will try to do Lick against Alcremi, because I think Alcremi might just be full on Poison type, which is where things get complicated, right? Because only Poison and Steel will do anything. We don't really have access to either of those moves at this point. The heal is not so good. The Flower Trick did not do as much damage as I thought it would. That didn't do too much, but it should paralyze you, right? I guess not. Yikes. Okay, so. Shell Sidearm coming into, wow, that was super effective. You got your own poison moves, not good. So I can see this being another one of those Elite Four member battles that we lose against first and I have to replay to win. Oh boy. I guess we get Floatzel out here. What else is our choice, you know? Luckily Floatzel should be able to hold on. There's like not any typing disadvantage there. Okay. Um. I guess we will do. Hmm. I guess Flower Trick is really the only move we can do here. The Bug in the Dark isn't going to do very well, so we can try uh, doing Surf. But that would also, I mean, it would hit me off guard. I want to do very much damage. We can try it. We'll see how it goes. Quick draw from Slowbro and the Shell Sidearm again. Are you kidding me? Come on, Flower Trick coming out. A little bit more, it's not very effective, but we're almost there. Come on. The Surf also doing some damage. It's gonna knock out a bun bunch of them. Slowbro fainted. But this, uh, whoa. The Drain, that's not good. Because I think Alchemy is just a fairy type. This is so tough. But which Pokemon will you get out next? We've gotten rid of a good number of their Pokemon, but I think they might have one more left over. We'll have to wait and see. Excadrill. Oh, really? Okay. Mold Breaker. Excadrill breaks the mold. And that's their last Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure what they're gonna do is they're gonna terrestrialize uh, Excadrill to be fairy type. If that's gonna be the case, I think what might be the best idea here is actually to go to our bag, use a max revive, and use that on Talonflame. Then have you do, I guess, wave crash on a Kremi. We need to damage on all Kremi as much as possible. So this is, this is like a proper one versus one. 
All eyes on our great big Tarasal heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Oh boy, here we go. I mean, I'm glad that we've made it this far into the fight, but this is definitely where it gets a whole lot tougher too. Oh man. So the fairy type to rastalize Excadrill. Not what I was expecting. The wave crash is coming in, and that's going straight on the Alcrummy. Almost enough to knock it out. Obviously, we'll get damaged by the recoil. Iron Head coming in on the pure Masquerada. And that means that whatever Alchemy is gonna do is gonna focus straight on to Floatzel. A warring voice. What does this do? Oh, so close, so close. So, a couple of things here. If we can just survive a little bit longer. Ah, oh, I'm nervous. Oh boy. I think we should Obviously, I mean, I guess I could try to buy some time with the other Pokemon. I have, one, you know, I have Palmot here. Let's swap you in. Maybe I could just buy some extra time this way. Obviously, it's not a lot, but I can, at the least, like nuzzle someone or something. Or I should probably just use Revival Blessing. I don't know if I'll like truly have that opportunity, but El Kremi, you gotta go. So the Wave Crash coming in. Nice, that's really good. So we're just focused on buying as much time as we possibly can to damage down, and I know that's gonna yeah, knock out Floatzel with the recoil, right? Yeah, Floatzel faints, but we can just revive one of the other Pokemon now and just try to damage you down as much as possible before we get the full health talent flame in here. So who do we wanna get back with this is the big question. I think we should probably just do, hmm, it's hard to say because I don't really know the moves of this Excadrill. I mean, we could try just brute forcing some more with Floyd Soul. That wouldn't be so bad of an idea. If not, I'd be Masquerada, but with that weakness, I'm just really worried. So I think oh, the Belch would be nice, but like obviously, I think we just do Floyd Soul. Try to damage it down more with that uh, Whirlpool or whatever it was. So Whirlpool is ready here. Floyd Soul is ready to take you on. The high horsepower though is gonna knock out Palmout, or maybe it won't. Palmet toughed it out. Awesome. All right, we have a real chance here making this work. And the extra healing coming in. We could do some major stuff here. Battle, and then we will just do, um, I guess, Nuzzle to start things off. And then Wave Crash was the big move. So Wave Crash coming in again. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Wow, that did a whole lot more than I was expecting. Nuzzle might even finish you off. That's amazing. I was not expecting that. So there we go. A big finish to this Elite Four battle. Sorry, Talonflame, we didn't end up using it too much there, but there we go. We've defeated Lacey, the BB Elite Four. Awesome. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. I love seeing cute Pokemon too. We have that in common. Zebra, Zebra, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Yeah, I was also battling. <laughs> oh, it was almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. They were super cute. Hehe, <laughs> for sure. And I get the best view as a trainer since I'm so close to the action. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Zebra. Phew, you know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Sure. So there we go, the Elite Four's Lacey has been defeated. That is amazing. Aw. Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm going to make myself a backup copy or three. I'll give you this as well, as proof of your cuteness. You obtained TM227, Alluring Voice. Alluring Voice, the user attacks the target using its angelic voice. This also confuses the target if its stats have been boosted during the turn. Huh, interesting. You really are strong when you get serious in battle, Zebra. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing up against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Thank you. And off she goes. 
All right, so with that, all of the Elite Four members are defeated. Maybe we'll talk to Drayton now, or Kieran, even. There's Drayton. Yo, 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 yo. Champ in the making. Guess you're almost a champ in the made. That's the BB League Elite Four all beaten. You schooled every Elite one of us. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I admit it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground to just get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Man, it's like I blink and you'd plowed through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all the four of us, so you, and only you, have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. Speaking of, you really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. Really got Zebra on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Zebra out. Who wanna help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Zebra, let's settle who's the strongest between us two, once and for all. Oh my, it's finally time, I'm pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around, let's go. Well actually I might say that for later, but yeah. Pretty cool start to everything there. Uh, I guess we're good to move on to that. So face off against Kieran, and now we're heading back up to where we started our venture in this DLC to of course take on Kieran, who is ready and waiting for us at the entrance of Blueberry Academy. So exciting, but also so intense. Kieran seems dead set on defeating us and really showing that they're the best trainer around, but we'll have to see if that's really the case. I do wanna also check, to make sure that my Pokemon are all healed up. It looks like they are, so we really don't know what to expect from Kieran. They could have any amount of crazy Pokemon, but they are waiting somewhere. Uh, Kieran, where are you at? Maybe I talk to, maybe it isn't here? I thought it was at the entrance. If I take a look at the map. Uh, I guess we'll read this anyways. Uh, battling Kieran, head to the Blueberry Academy entrance to set up your battle with Kieran, the BB League champion. Maybe I just talk to you? I guess so, whoa. Hey yo, Zebra. Ready to sign up for your official match? You're Zebra, yes? Let me get your championship match set up. This will take just, or just, just take a moment. So, Zebra, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Yeah. Huh, no kidding. Here's the Dracer take. I liked Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of a Wimpot. He'd hide behind Carmine if he so much as breathed too loud. But I tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing's good, nothing good's gonna come of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried, but couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life. So, now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran, the BB League champion? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's get to it. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Zebra. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering for you. All right, so can we really defeat Kieran? Everybody around here has gotten so tough. I guess I might be them. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. 
Everybody's gonna be showing up after that. All right, Karen giving us that determined look. Oh boy. I'm as ready as I'll ever be though. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Zebra. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work, all of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you, right here, right now. Oh man, he means it too. Not good. You are challenged by BB League champion, Kieran. This is not the same Kieran we fought back in the village. All right. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. I feel like this could have all been prevented just with a little more communication. But what more can we do besides fight our way through at this point? It is raining, which is not so good for me. So maybe we'll do Aerial Ace against Dragonite for now. And then on top of that, we'll probably want to do Nuzzle against Pilotoad. Polytoad, something like that. It's not a ton of damage, but we can sort of get started with this. Obviously, I have no clue what Pokemon he is going to have. It'll take one little bit at a time here. Ah, wowzers. Doesn't matter if the type matchups work out for you, though. I'll still win. We'll see about that one. The opposing Polytoad is paralyzed, so it may not be able to move. The Wakanberry weakened the damage. The Wakanberry was used at. Oh no, here comes Thunder on the Talonflame. That's gonna be a one-hit takedown. Really not what I wanted to see, but it is what it is. We are going to now switch over, of course, to how do you like that? See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you battled in Kitakami, huh? I guess not the weather ball coming in, uh-oh. That did a lot, that did a ton. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to Masquerada as soon as we can here. All right, here we go. So Kieran not messing around, some really damaging moves. I think we'll do Dark Pulse against Dragonite and then uh, do Discharge. It might hurt Meowskarot a little bit too, but if we could just full on ooh, take out this Politoed, I'd be happy. But even that, not gonna work out so much. Critical hit on Meowskarot is unfortunate, but the super effective of the opposing Politoed. Oh, but we're paralyzed. This is really not going super well. Hurricane, oh man. Dragonite just has all these really good moves. Dragon type just doing me in again. Always struggling with this one. All right, the weather ball again. That did a ton of damage to me before. Yeah, this is not a good start. <laughs> it looks like, even though Kieran said the opposite, it really seems like they have the type matchup at the moment. So I'll go ahead and get Floatzel out here, place on the left and then Oink alone or Dox Bunt. Let's do Dox Bunt. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Because I feel like this is now quite the uphill battle having lost three Pokemon already. We'll do Ice Punch on Dragonite and I think we'll also just do Play Rough on Dragonite just to see if we can't get rid of you. The Helping Hand, what does that do? Oh, no. here comes Ice Punch. That knocks you out, awesome. So hopefully Play Rough will just go into Politoed. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, some extra experience coming in here. Oh, and that does finish off Politoed. So there's two of your Pokemon down. So we're catching up a little bit with that one and these two Pokemon have also been unscathed from us. So now they're only one up on us. Incineroar, which is a great opportunity for Floatzel and Porygon Z, which I don't know the typing of Porygon Z, but people find out the Intimidate is going to lower Floatzel's attack. What typing was just normal Porygon? I don't know. Let's try Wave Crash against Incineroar, or maybe we do Surf. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it, actually. Let's just do Wave Crash. And then um, maybe play rough against Porygon just to see what ends up happening. The Fake Out might make Doxbun flinch. But this might be a one hit takedown on Cineroar, it is! Awesome! Obviously, Floats will take some damage from that one too. 
but I think it's okay. Some extra experience. The hyper beam coming in is really scary. Oh, that's a one hit on Dark Spun. Not so good. This is where things get scary because once again, they're now one up on us. We were healed there for a moment. Or not healed, but we were even there. What do we do now? I think we only have Oinkalon left over to throw in. Let's try this out. I'll have to give this everything I got. Grim Snarl. Oh no. That's a fairy type. So, oh, terrifying fairy type. How do I want to do this? We could Terrastalize right now, or I could take this opportunity to go to our bag and start using some max revives on some Pokemon. If that's a fairy type, like I think Grim Snarl is, like maybe I should be careful about this, but I was thinking we could use this item on you. I don't know. Uh, and then Oink alone. Go ahead and do maybe just, this is super effective, but I can't really, who would it be on is the question. I, I guess I don't even get to know. Um, I guess it would have to be Grim Snarl. So maybe it's also grass type. This would be normally effective. What has the most damage? Oh, I guess it would be Earth Power. Okay, let's try it out. On Grim Snarl. So, oh boy. There's that shield. Porygon Z must recharge, so this is definitely an opportunity just to get a little bit done. It's not a ton of damage, but uh, rain stopped. What do we want to do here? I think I just want to go to our bag and max revive our next Pokemon. I think we'll do Dock Spun this time. And then battle, and we'll just do Earth Power against you again, maybe? Or maybe I'll just do Yawn against one of you, Porygon Z, before it can wake back up from its recharge. We'll put it back to sleep with the Yawn. That might be our best bet for now. Ah, oh, here comes the Hyper Beam, though. Unfortunate, that's gonna knock out Floatzel, so when I was finally starting to even the odds a little bit, it's falling apart again. Porygon lost some more of its HP from that, now you'll be snoozing. I just need to buy time. Like, that's my goal right now, is just buying time. The Spirit Break is coming out, though. That doesn't do too much, luckily. We're fine. Only one special attack fell, and the Lingering Aroma goes over Grim Snarl's Prankster. So, I think now we switch over to Dark Spun, which is super effective with the Play Rough. Okay, so it must be Dark Fairy, right? If I'm not mistaken. Play Rough against Grim Snarl. And then I guess we'll try just headbutt against Porygon Z. Because it must recharge anyways. And that's a lot of damage, but not enough to knock you out. And now you have a lingering aroma. Whatever. I don't even know what well-baked body does. Headbutt. It's okay. It gets you in the yellow. The spirit break coming in. That was a lot more damage with the critical hit. Come on. Porygon Z fell asleep, buying us time. Play rough against Grimstone to finish you off. Then we go to our bag and do a full revive on somebody here. I feel like Palmot is our next target because then we also have the um, the blessing to revive the Pokemon that way. Gives us a lot more options here. So we're catching up just with the use of items. Porygon still snoozing. Let's play rough on you and see what Pokemon comes out next because whatever this next one is, is gonna be what's terrestrialized. So this is where things can get pretty intense. I have no clue what it's gonna be. Just go down already. How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Hydrapple? So another dragon type? Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen this one. So cool, a super sweet aroma is wafting. Your amulet prevents something. Okay, cool. So if this is a dragon type, it's not gonna be weak to too much, but we can still try with Doxmon. I mean, maybe I should. Ah, I'm getting all the types mixed up again. I don't know. Um, oh, I could just try Terrastalizing Doxmon right now and then do the play rough against Hydrapple. Then, um, I guess just headbutt, try to finish all Porygon Z as much as I can. Come on, we're gonna try it and hope for the best.
because I'm pretty sure if it is a dragon type, like the other Apple Pokemon that we've seen, then this would be a good opportunity. I don't need the, the old me anymore. I've changed, and I'll show you I can change again. Here it is. I was ready for it. Full expectation of this Terrastalized Hydrapple, but is it gonna even turn into Dragon type? I didn't really think about that. It's a fighting type, uh-oh. I think I've been baited. <laughs> That's not good. I got baited into Terrastalizing the fairy type when very specifically, I mean, actually, no. It's fighting good against fairies, very good against fighting. Am I getting this mixed up? We're gonna try it, we'll see in a moment. Come on. Oh, it's super effective. Okay, for a second, I thought I just made the biggest mistake ever. Porygon Z almost knocked out, still snoozing. Earth power is gonna damage you down a bit, but not enough for me to be all that worried. Come on, here is our chance. Play rough again, the damage on Hydrapple, headbutt Porygon, and that might be the end of this battle as Porygon just now wakes up. No, not the Hyper Beam. Can you just wait a second? I'm in the middle of something here. All right, unfortunate wake up timing, but that's why we revived Pokemon while we had the opportunity. This is where we just keep going. It lost some of its HP there. I don't know how much health it even has left. Come on. Oh, we got the Hydrapple. I can't believe it. Critical hit and everything. Even Lux chosen you over me. It's not fair. It's just not fair. I don't know about that. I mean, I did get really, really lucky in some ways because that could have been any terrestrialization, but it still fell into the weakness. Um, but it's okay. I think that was still really good for us. Level 96 for Dox, 97 for Meowth And speaking of which, I'll get you now just to finish off Porygon one way or another. These Pokemon gotta be able to get it done. All right. So, play rough on you. Flower trick, just whatever will work. Flower trick goes first and there it is. We just beat Kieran on the first try. I can't believe it. Well, the whole school's watching too. We just became the BB League champion. We don't even go here. Oh no. What? Huh? Whoa, we just got a ton of prize money too. Oh no. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. Oh, everyone's leaving. No, why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ugh, no. No, no, no! Poor Kieran. Way to go, both of you. That was awesome! Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? Wait, Drayton. Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? X champion. I don't know if it's very fair to rub it in like that. I can't tell if Drayton's a good guy or a bad guy at this point. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. You obtained a Master Ball. Whoa, nice. Hey, Kieran, this may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and win next time. Come again? I won't lose. Next time for sure, I'll, I'll win. Next time, I'll win. I don't know what to say here. Hey, uh. Zebra, I, uh, oof. <clears throat> if we might, um, interrupt? Well, first, of course, we want to offer Zebra our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. 
we're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Zebra is our champion, then that means he's head of the league club. But he's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? There are so many particulars to sort out. Oh, huh, yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what, me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Kieran. Uh-oh, got an announcement. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four member Trayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, Zebra, our exchange student, Miss Briar, and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. Huh, looks like we need to cut this little meeting short to go to another one. What could that be about? No, it's really not the time. BB League Champion Kieran, huh? They're gonna need to update that. Trayton, could you seriously not right now? It's just not right, and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, Zebra, we'll meet you there. Yeah, things seem to be getting really complicated. I'll make sure Kieran comes, too, even if I gotta carry him. <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll catch up with everyone before we head to it, but uh, head to Classroom 1-4. Let's see what it says. Head to Classroom 1 4 to see what Miss Briar wants. And we saw her um in the previous DLC. Classroom 1 4, right? Go on ahead, bud. I'll meet you there. Oh man. Congratulations on becoming champion. But it seems we can't celebrate just yet, with everything unsettled. Zebra, thank you. Oh no, this is bad. If I'm not in the Elite Four, I can't use the Elite Four space at the Savannah Plaza anymore. I guess not, I don't know. So we wanna head down here, where do you wanna go? To classroom one four, Kieran's classroom, used for homeroom activities. All right, let's see how it goes. Here's Miss Briar. So it's a totally empty classroom. But here we are. Here we are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please, have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Oh please, you're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Zebra. I'd heard you were busy battling your way up to the BB League. But to think you'd make it as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. Uh, thanks I guess? I feel a little bittersweet about it. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? I'm sort of curious too. My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. What? Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Whoa! It's the champion from back home, and an Elite Four member. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Uh, La Primera. Hmm? Champion Zebra? I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. 
Zebra just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that that bodes well. Is it all right if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once the research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me, as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Zebra also on the team, I know I can safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? Uh, of course, I'm in. Splendid. Well said, Champion Zebra. Uh, well... I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. The league club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion is thinking now. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drain won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kirin, Zebra, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to the great findings that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Whoa. So we'll be heading back to Paldea and into Area Zero to explore, I guess, whatever is inside. I mean, we've been there before. I hope you're not in a hurry to leave, Champion Zebra. I would very much like to chat a little bit longer. Okay, sorry, I didn't know that was an exit. Uh, so let's go talk to Gita over this way. Uh, I, I guess I don't need to see this, but I'm curious to talk a bit more with Gita. Hi. It has been a while, Champion Zebra. Hi, kiddo. Rika's here too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you are putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as a Paldea champion, even while abroad. I'm doing my best. Huh, indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get a scolding for that. Uh, that's what champions do? What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Zebra here hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine. I'll let you off the hook this one time. You'd better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think so, think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Zebra. This time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. 
However, talking, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Pryor of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I'd forgotten about that. Champion Zebra, would you be so kind as to take this from me? You obtained the Indigo Disc. You put the Indigo Disc in your bag's key items pocket. A mysterious disc with an Indigo Shine to it, given to you by the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. Whoa. What is that anyways? A TM or something? It is a disc that was that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back too? I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There is still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect the guide those or protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could, could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there, but don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now, please excuse us. All right, well, it's nice catching up to, with both of you again. But pretty intense stuff. So, I guess before we go, meet up with Miss Briars and the others right over here. When you're ready to venture back into Area Zero, meet Miss Briar and the others at the entrance bridge to Blueberry Academy. We'll do it. I figure we'll talk to Director Cyrano here just to see what they have to say. I guess they saw us become the, the champion. Hey there, Zebra. It looks like you've caught 123 species of Pokemon in the terrarium. You're starting to make someone some headway, I see. Don't be afraid to explore all of the terrarium's biomes. Each one is unique from the others. Okay, I was hoping for you to you know, talk about the fact that you sat here and watched me become champion, but I guess not. Let's go over here and chat with all of our friends. Let's see if we can't you know, head to Area Zero. This would be cool. Hi, Carmine. Kiki's awful, awful quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bent out of shape when he lost. Area Zero, right? Come on, let's go. I wanna get started. All right, let's talk to Miss Briar then. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Zebra? Yes, I am. Splendid, we're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling all right? Well, enough to travel at least. Well, I'm, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine, I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran. All right then, shall we? I don't think Miss Briar understands what Kieran truly means, but I guess for right now, we're heading straight into Area Zero. It's been a while since we've entered this area, so it's pretty exciting. Whoa. Doesn't look like much has changed here. I wonder if these two have been to the Paldea region before though. Whoa. We made it, I, I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> uh, so you've been here before, right Zebra? Yeah, with my friends. Maybe we should catch up with them soon. Friends, huh? Are we getting a flashback? No, okay, it's a uh, Maraidon. This is one of our friends. Eek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out of that, like, er, whatchamadon. <laughs> I guess Carmine forgot their name. So you came here with Zebra back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. 
and see what's even deeper. What do you mean, even deeper? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Zebra. Whoa, okay, so deeper into Area Zero than we have ever even dreamed of before. That sounds like a fun thing to focus on. Head to the Zero Lab, and if we take a look, um, I guess we don't really have it marked too specifically on our map, but we can get going. I don't know if there's any Pokemon around here really that we haven't found that we should be worrying about. It's crazy that a lot of the Pokemon here are lower level than we're even used to. We got Iron Thorns over this way. It's just crazy seeing these guys again after so long of not having to worry about it. Uh, can we do our, whoa, can we do these here? I don't know, let's see. Let's try an auto battle roll here quickly. Because if we can, that'd be cool. Yeah, that counts, that's crazy. So I guess as we're moving along, I definitely have you, Iron Moth. There's a whole bunch of them, there's so many. Wow, um, so Doc Spring can worry about that. I mean, the zero one was like way down here, right, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, I guess we'll find out here in a moment. So I'm pretty sure it was like way down there. Okay, oh. Okay, almost there. We'll just try to fly all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, way down here is exactly what I'm after. Because this is where we first caught the other Maridon, and of course, all the exciting stuff at the end of the game happened. Okay. But, I'm not seeing too much more. I'm pretty sure this was the map we were looking for. We'll, we'll take on Gamora a little bit, maybe. Um, Experience Candy L. Was this one of them? No, nope, I don't need you. For whatever reason. Uh, oh, you're out of health, I didn't realize. Whoa, okay. Uh, change position, Palmot. There we go. Will that help? There we go. We still need to do that several more times. Uh oh, did I fight you? <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Sorry, Gomora, I'm not here to fight. I mean, I guess, just not fight like this but I'm pretty sure this will be lab zero, right? There we go. Let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't even see you. You're so small. We already have a Glimmet. Don't need to worry about that. So many Pokemon we've caught, it's pretty crazy. But this isn't the entrance to the lab, is it? Sort of trying to figure it out. I'm a little turned around. We have Iron Hands. Oh wow, we got a... Cracklick here and Dreepy. Oh, over here. I think we're sort of on the right way, the right path. But I also want to check. Oh no, maybe it didn't. It went up once before. It went from five to six, but now it's not working anymore. Why did it work just for that one? That was weird. Is this not it too? I don't know. It's a little confusing. Wait, Doug Tree. Do we have Doug Trio? We do have Doug Trio. <laughs> because. I don't have a map right now. So I just don't know if I'm going the right way or not. It has to be this, right? Yeah, here we go, finally. I think I wanted a big circle. Whoa. So here's Lab Zero. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it? The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Right? I think. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point in the uh, point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. Is that where we fought? Uh the the professor from the time machine and everything, the robot? However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this zero lab? 
gates closed that. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now, Zebra? You've been here before, right? We need to use that paddle, or panel. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Wait, cool. <laughs> Kieran seems like he's having fun. What, Did I didn't say anything. Maybe Kieran's slowly becoming more like his usual self. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Zebra? Of course. If we've done it before, we can do it again, right? Okay, so I'll talk to you really quickly. Oh, the panel disables the lock on the gate, huh? I mean, uh, whatever. <laughs> The Zero Lab, huh? If it were up to me, I would have named this place the Crystal Lab. Could you use the panel over there to unlock the gate for us? I will, okay. So, pretty sure I have all the Pokemon around here. I'm just making extra, extra sure. Let's use this panel. Open the gate to the Zero Lab? Yes. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. Whoa. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? Yeah, seems like it. It opened before though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? There were four locks before and, oh, the professor was in the lab too. I see, so last time, you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Oh, whoa, Indigo just detected. Indigo just detected. Huh? It's talking. Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Indigo disc, what could it mean by that? Well, that's what Gita gave us. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Ooh, how fun. Go on, Zebra, do it. You have my permission. All right. I guess it goes right there. Please insert Indigo Disc. Indigo Disc. Whoa. Indigo Disc confirmed. Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. What? Whoa. It's opening up. Look at that. It opened. Let's head on in. Okay, so the area zero under depths. Can't believe it. Is that a legendary Pokemon? Is that legendary Pokemon gonna be inside? Come on, hurry up, you take the lead. So the disc Gita gave you ended up being the key to the zero lab. My, what a dazzling surprise. All right, let's hit inside the under depths. This sounds like it could be really scary, actually. I don't even know what this will look like. Uh, whoa, the tube's broken. Oh yeah, this is where we were before. This is where we found the professor. Right? It looks familiar. Even though it's been like a year for me since then. Oh. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where's Miss Pryor anyway? Oh, she's busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. But there's the elevator. Miss Pryor, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down? You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> There's something very odd about Miss Briar. Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? I think so. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. Or maybe just, you know, I beat the game a year ago, so I'm a little, little forgetful on what exactly happened. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. All right. 
From what I'm hearing, you've already been on more adventures than I can count. No wonder you're so level-headed all the time. <laughs> Come now, let's keep making our way down. All right. There we go. So I guess we're uh, heading down even farther. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone? That panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah. Something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? <laughs> where indeed? Uh, I would like to know exactly so we don't get stuck down here. I don't know exactly what a rescue mission would look like if we d don't find our way back up. But I think we've made it. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Crystals galore. So, what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we were last time. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey, what's... All this stuff. Whoa, someone's been down here and researching. Oh, what are desks doing down here? Oh my, oh my, this is, this is a report written by the esteemed Professor Turo. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. So the hidden treasure of Area Zero is none other than Terrapagos. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrassal phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrassalization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terra type the stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos influence be at play? Whoa. Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a stellar Terra type? Brilliant, absolutely marvelous, to think there was so much that Heath didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to, to discover the truth with our own eyes after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. All right, so, here we are. The depths of Area Zero. I'm going to read every single one of these documents when we return. Come on, let's hurry up. Man, it sure is hard to breathe down here. Guess it's because we're so far down? I guess so, this is crazy. I don't even know where to begin. It's just these crystals all over the place. Are there any Pokemon down here besides Terrapagos? Uh. This is a huge crystal. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. 
Hey, what about Wuchimadon? That Pokemon you ride on, couldn't it smash through? Let's give it a go. Hold on, hold on, please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm? Whoa, wait, it's a Glamora. Hi. There are Pokemon all the way down here? And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no good in a battle, Miss Briar. Kiki, no, Zebra, you should handle this. All right. So what is going on with this Glamora? Whoa. It looks intense. Could this have the stellar terrestrialization? We're about to find out. Whoa, all right. Whoa, that is so cool. It really does just have every ability type. How does that even work? I'm so confused. Um, what on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be. Uh, so this stuff is effective, but I guess none of it's gonna be super effective. I just have no idea how this works, but we're luckily able to damage you down quite significantly there. Oh boy. So will every move it have be like super effective? Toxic debris, poison spikes all around our team. Whoa, but that broke the terrestrialization. Should we try to catch you? I mean, I can't. I don't even have the Pokeball option. So let's just hit you again with another one and at least defeat you. That was wild. Okay, now what? Gomorrah fainted. We get a bunch of experience for it, which is always good. Good work, Zebra. Well, and that clears out the crystal. No way. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have had the stellar Terra type. Uh. So what's that all mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Maybe. I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note says that the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description. So I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor calls Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. So deeper we go. This is getting pretty intense, isn't it? All right, so I guess we're following after our friends. We got the stellar terror shard on rare occasions. These shards form a terror or something. So can I do anything with like these kind of crystals? Whoa, okay, I got to revive from it. <laughs> cool, I'll take it. What about over here? Is anything that's glowing, maybe? Let's get off of you. Maybe not. Very peculiar, but I'll just head down here and we'll see what we can find. I don't know where our friends went. The music is so cool here. I'm guessing I don't want to fall off, but hey, what are you? We got ourselves a new Pokemon here. Ooh, exciting. This is gonna be none other than Carbank. Very cool. So let's go ahead and try to catch Carbank here with a quick ball. Come on. We don't get the critical throw, but maybe we can at least get the catch. All right, so we do get a new Pokemon here, Carbank. And that's gonna be some extra experience as well. As you can see, number 167, Carbank, the jewel Pokemon, is a rock fairy type. Born from the high temperatures and pressures deep underground, it defends itself by firing beams from the jewel part, a part of its body. Interesting. Carbank has been sent to your boxes, but what Pokedex entry is it? I guess right there. Cool. So we got some Carbank growing around, and I also have a Stellar Terror Shard, 11 of them. Okay, well I don't need to take out another car bank right now, I don't think, so I'll just keep running this way. Uh, I guess I could get back onto Maridon. 
and see, I don't know, if, like, did I just, I couldn't really, I don't know, very weird. I thought I got an item for one of those crystals before, but it must have just been that there was one on the ground right next to it. Uh, we get Hydro Pump as a TM. That's really cool, actually. Might want to consider equipping some new TM soon. But for right now, it looks like all of our friends are up this way. I'm gonna go ahead and get a full restore, and what is that? Hold on, guys. That's gotta wait. I gotta see what in the world is going on up here. Uh, it looks like a Noibat. Whoa, 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 I don't wanna fall. It's a long way down from here, it seems. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and get that, the flying sh terror shard. Oh. Ew, what are you? Some kind of crazy Noibat, but uh, I don't think I, do I have Noibat caught? Um, hi. Are you gonna be another stellar type? I guess I probably need to get rid of you if I wanna get that crystal cleared out. Okay, so maybe I should talk to my friends first. Oh well, it's fine. So I guess I won't have the chance to catch you then. Oh man, here we go. This is be another stellar type. So I've yet to have the chance to catch one of these things. This is so cool. See a Neuburn's Frisk, and I found our magnet. That should be okay. We'll just go ahead and use Discharge and see how much damage it does to you. Ooh, a decent chunk, but we already have Neuburn caught, so I guess in terms of like the Pokemon type, it's not that big of a deal. It restored its HP almost all the way back to full. So let's just go ahead, hit you again. Ooh, that should be pretty good. The, the critical hit is gonna break your terrestrialization. And we go again. There we go. So, Noivern actually wasn't too bad. A little bit more experience for everybody, and there we go, that should clear out the crystal. Awesome, so I guess it can go even farther down. Good job, Zebra, the crystal thing is gone now. Awesome, so let's hop over there. We got a lot of LP for that, which is always nice to see. Some more of these stellar Terra shards. So what do we do now? That Pokemon's called Maridon, right? Boy, he can really jump. We're on a roll, let's keep moving. All right, so they'll go on ahead of me this time. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Right down here, maybe we'll run into some other new Pokemon. So I'm guessing there's gonna be another crazy terror thing, probably way up there. Before we do that, we'll talk to you guys this time. Ugh, another one? And these lousy rock things, they can stop me. They got another thing coming. Now where is that, sp the sparkly critter? Watch your footing. If you slip and fall into the abyss, we won't be able to help you. Man, this place has even more twists and turns than Oni Mountain. Definitely. Okay, so maybe up here? Wait, there's an another one? So how do we get through? Oh, maybe, it looks like there's an entrance over here, actually. Let's try to get down like that, there we go. And, whoa, this area is huge. Very opened up, we got a hard stone there. I guess I'll get over to this side. All right. Still don't wanna fall. See another item up this way. Which I might as well try to get a lot of the items because they seem to be like pretty high tier. Uh, around here, so we get a grass terror shard. Don't see too much more, so I think we're in a good enough position to fly over here. That's another Glamora, which I don't need, but good to know. Look at you. All right, I might just fight you straight away then. I mean, maybe I should switch Pokemon actually to somebody who needs more experience. I don't know, maybe I should just have strongest Pokemon out in front for the situation because, you know, this is pretty intense stuff. So look at you, I think I already have you caught. I sure hope so. Uh. All right, it's the iron something. Come on, Palamot, you know what to do. So it's another, of course, stellar terrestrialized Pokemon. 
and we'll just battle you. So Iron Thorns, we do have this one caught. Uh, close combat is super effective. We definitely want to make the most of that. Defense fell, but I think we can just knock you down after that. No more Terrastalize. So it looks like they still, I guess, just have their base stats or base typing. Uh, That's where I'm really confused. Like, how could that be super effective, but the times that we've gone against the other stellar Terras, it wasn't. That, that, like, sort of inherently doesn't make any sense, right? I don't know. By the way, that should clear out the crystal, I think. Maybe. But there was another, like, crystal clump up on the other side. What do we do about that one? Maybe we can go check that out now, but... Hey, Zebra, the path opened up! All right, thanks for letting me know. So, what else is going on around here? I think there's another TM at the least. Right over there, we'll oh, go get it soon. Wait, what's down here? Whoa, hold on. Uh, There's a lot more down here than I thought. Like a lot more down here. What if there is another terrestrialized Pokemon around here? I guess we should search it real well just to be sure. I got some Stardust. There's a lot of like, crazy noises down here too and I didn't even see you. It's just another uh, car bank, which I definitely don't need to fight right now. So I will leave you be. I don't think we're gonna find too much in the way of like brand new Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything else really over here except for some simple stuff to grab. So maybe this was just like an alternate path over. I guess so. Jump back up this way. This is where we just fought the um the iron whatever. If I go up here, I think there's a yeah a TM. But it seems like it goes even farther back still. We got fire blaster. Whoa. Get one more item, the water terror shard. 22 of them. I mean, that's telling me how much I have in total. Not really sure. But we can head back over here. Uh, pick that up. Psychic Terror Shards. I will get up here, grab this one. Ground Terror Shards. So many Terror Shards. I never really know what to do with those. But I guess it's good to have more. See, I really wanna see that other area. There was like another little crystal clump on the other side that we hadn't even gone up to. So before we talk to you, oh, we might have to anyways. Sorry we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it, Zebra. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther we down we go. Come, there's no time to lose. All right. I'll follow after you soon enough. As soon as we check up there. Like maybe it's something I backtrack for, I'm not really quite sure. It was right up this way. But it has me oh so curious. Yeah, see this one is still blocked off. What is up with that? There's a bunch of items back there too. Ooh, I really wanna get back there. So we'll have to keep exploring thoroughly to see if I can't figure it out. But for right now, since it doesn't seem like there's much else of a place to go, I will continue down this way. I mean, maybe that's where like loops around or something. Maybe that's actually the exit and not an entrance. We got the full restore here, the max elixir there. There they are down that way. So I'll just keep spiraling down here just so that we can uh, get a full heal. Uh, there's an item here, maybe. There was, it was shimmering, I clicked it, nothing happened. Uh, I got some of that, max revive, max potion. Getting some really good items, so that's at least nice. So they're right down there. I guess we have to head that way where Carmine's staring off. Marvelous, the terrestrial energy here is po positively overflowing. Miss Briar can be so reckless sometimes. I feel like I always have to keep an eye on her. I sort of see what you mean. Okay, ending over here. You handle looking around in the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. <laughs> All right, it's up to me. You see an item in the water there, Stardust. The Stardust we can sell for a lot later on, so that's nice. Whoa, so it's gonna be a, a knackly. Whoa, yeah, this might connect to where we were before then. 
Because this area is huge. And look at the, the tree. This is so cool. All right, well, we might as well take you on straight away then. The terrestrial tree. I wasn't expecting that. Hi. Oh. So is this knuckle stack or something? I think. Such an interesting Pokemon. Whoa. Here we go. This is like our fourth battle with one of these things. Battle and then definitely do close combat. This one's level 80, so the difficulty is definitely jumping up the farther we go down, but that is definitely gonna break your terrestrialization, no problem. Garganical, that's what this one's called. All right, and then I guess we'll just hit you with, I wanna do a discharge this time. If it's effective enough that it should knock you out, I wanna save the power points for the close combat for when we really need it. There we go. Extra experience coming in, almost level up for a few of our Pokemon, but that should clear out the crystal again. Way back over there. Whoa, cool. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Zebra. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering, just do it. <laughs> oh no. Or Kiki. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. I don't see too much else over here. I just want to make sure what is going on up this way. Maybe we can find another TM at the least. Well, you can see a reflection in the crystal. That was so odd. I guess not. Well, yeah. I'm not seeing really a way up to anything super crazy. I was hoping we could find a way to connect this back to the one spot that we saw, but I guess not. So we'll just swim back over as soon as we can, since it's not looking like too much more. Go, go, go. Right back over here. We've made it. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Zebra? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him is all. We should keep going. Ugh, he's so stubborn. <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off odd Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about spent. And that's just all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. No worries. I'm glad you guys have been holding down your own little goals here too. Let's catch up with you. Looks like we don't have to go very far before. Whoa, this one is crazy. My terror orb, I think it's reacting to something? Huh, you're right, minus two. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the vile book is so close now. What? Not you too. Those two sometimes, I swear. Well, I guess we get to follow him, right? We should head in too, but no rushing. At least we can show some composure. I guess so. I don't see anything else to do in here though, so I'm, I'm running after him. This is crazy. Quite the effect. And there they are. Whoa, the floor's all dark here. I think we've gone as far as we can go. This feels odd. What is this place? The vibes here are to on a totally different level. The hidden treasure, where is it? There, Kieran, 
up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Whoa. What is that? It's like a little crystal. This stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I, I can finally beat Zebra. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Zebra has everything I've ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants, and he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. But Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom, you were like best friends in no time. I, well, I've got nothing. I worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Why is Miss Briar ignoring this like important character moment? Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. She really doesn't care. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. I feel like something bad's about to happen. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh. Uh oh. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Whoa! Uh. That's really cool. So shiny. It's growing. Whoa! It's adorable. Oh! This is Terrapagos. It's a little cutie. Uh, no. You're mine! Whoa, the Master Ball! That's a guaranteed catch! No way. What just happened? Kieran caught Terrapagos. That was Terrapagos? You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a master ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Zebra. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready, so we can start. Oh no. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Uh, are, are you sure it's safe to battle with a Pokemon we barely know anything about? Ooh, I can hardly contain myself. I simply must see Terrapagos' power right away. Okay, well, I think we're all healed back up, so I guess we're good to fight Kieran. All right, Kieran, you want a battle? You're gonna get one. Are you ready? As ready as I'm, actually, let me save really quickly. You better not run away from this, okay? What if I did? What if I left and never came back? <laughs> That'd be a little awkward. Um, let's go ahead and save. We're so close to being like level 100 with everybody. I don't think, even if I were to use, I guess I could. We wanna go really crazy here and make sure we're super ready for this fight. Cause I can't imagine there's too much more after this that's going to be all that more, all that more difficult. So like, what if we go here? and like use 11 of these. That's enough level 98. Use this item. Here, 11. 99. Okay, let's just get everybody to level 100 then, if I can. I don't know if I have enough experience. I mean, I have rare candies and a lot of them. I should probably be using these. Here, use this item. Level 100, there it is. Crazy. Okay, so use this item right over here. We'll use two of them. Level 100, and then use this item. Right over here, we need three this time. Got it. And then, I guess I should use two and then a little bit of experience candy. Actually, I guess a lot more. Oh, because it, I guess I should have used the candy first. 
I see. Okay, one more time then, right down here. Two levels, boom. A full level 100 team to take on Kieran. I wanna save. All right, let's do it. This might be the final battle, I have no clue, but we're ready for it. Are you ready? Yes. All right, get him in position. I hope you've braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Zebra. One more time. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kirin. Makes it on Terrapagos to start. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Is it just the one Pokemon? Go Terrapagos, show Zebra what you're made of. Uh, Terra Shift. Whoa, it's still so adorable. Whoa, it's even more cute. It's like a little turtle shell now or something. Um, so yeah, it's just the one Pokemon. Uh, Trapagus, the Indigo Disc. I don't know how to beat it, but. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this, I can win for sure. All right, let's try close combat and see how much damage it does with the Terra Shell. Um, okay, wait, it cleans? I don't know what that does, but that was decent damage for not being very effective. Uh, we can just try a whole sort of different moves here, but Earth Power, yeah, it's gonna have like everything it needs to beat us up, won't it? Let's try Discharge. Uh, ooh, that was a critical hit. We got you pretty far down. How can you get critical hits even at a time like this? What are you, the hero of this story? <laughs> I guess so. All right, so it's paralyzed. It may be unable to move, but the Zen headbutt. Palm on board of the attack, that's huge. Great job, let's try another discharge. Come on. Ooh, you're already in the yellow. Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? Earth power might be in at the knockout, Palma. I'm so sorry, buddy, but it's okay. Because we have more Pokemon and they're all just as tough. Let's just switch over to Meowskarada now, our starter Pokemon. We started this adventure with you. Maybe we can finish it against Kieran right now. Let's try Flower Trick. Come on. Huge damage, the critical hit, but the Earth Power coming up again, that's not gonna do as much damage this time. All right, let's try uh, Dark Pulse. Come on, and that is gonna finish you. That was weirdly easy. Um, There's gotta be more to it than that, right? I'd imagine. Why? I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it, it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Zebra. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Violet Book. So, Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. No, are you okay? Of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb, and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. Huh. All right, here we go. The terrestrialized Terrapagos. Whoa, whoa, I knew it. The Violet Book was right. Terrapagos is in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Whoa, so shiny. Yeah, there's Terrapagos as like the symbol of it. 
Whoa, watch out! Raiden didn't want the save. Are you okay, Kieran? Uh oh. Oh no. Not good. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Terrapagos to its ball. Uh, okay. Come back, Terrapagos. It's not listening. No way. It broke the master ball? It won't go back inside. W why? No way. What do we do now? We gotta get out of here before this whole place crumbles down. Whoa! Go Doxbun, are we gonna have to battle this all together? I guess it's just us and Sinistra. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't control it. I'm sorry kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on Kiki, you need to do something too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Energy has begun to gather around Terrapagos. Terrapagos to hidden treasure of area zero with the full shield this time. We might be in trouble. Let's go ahead and throw out a play rough. And unfortunately, it looks like Palmot is still damaged, but we'll do everything we can. Come on. That didn't do much. Uh, It's using a barrier to reduce damage? In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Terra Starstorm. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Not good. Macho gotcha. That's a cute move. All right, let's see if that works. Not too bad. We will terrestrialize, but I figure we'll do it with our next Pokemon because already. Uh... Oh, there we go. Energy drained, burned. That's pretty good. I just want to do whatever I can right now with uh, Doxbun, and then soon enough, I figure we will. So if that's the case, move info. We can lower the target's attack stat for a bit too. I mean, I don't think we're timed. It doesn't seem like there's a timer. It failed, come on. Terra Starstorm coming in, again. Not good. Ooh, that definitely hurts. We'll just do a play rough to damage down a little bit more before we switch to a Pokemon and Terrasalize. Very good, there's a little bit more damage to it from Sinitsha. The energy's draining. It's hurt by its burn too, it's not much, but it's something. Come on, Rage Powder too. Whoa, hold out to you. Sinitsha became the center of attention. A little bit more health done. I know it doesn't seem like much, but with a Pokemon of this magnitude, any amount is a big deal. It's really probably gonna take all six of her Pokemon and then some to get rid of this thing. This is intense. There goes Doxbun. And Sinitsha also fainted. It's all up to us now, right? Oh no, my Sinitsha's knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. It was hurt by its burn. It's up to me now. Miascarada, get on out here. We are just going to hit you with everything we got. Come on. Now's your chance. Use Terrasalize Pokemon to strike back. I will. All right, so battle, Terrasalize, Flower Trick. It'll give us a guaranteed critical two, so maybe this is the difference maker we were looking for. I sure hope so, because if not, we're in major trouble. Come on. Miascarada, this is our chance. Come on, how much damage is this gonna do? Whoa, not bad, the critical hit getting rid of basically all of the shield. Terrapagos has succumbed to the onslaught. And absorbed terrestrial energy. What? It took away our terrestrialization. What? It absorbed terrestrial energy? What do we do now? Not again. We don't have the terrestrialization anymore, right? It changed its type. It put up another barrier of such strength. Did it use the terrestrial energy it absorbed too? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Zebra is doing all the work. It's, it's no good. I'm useless. 
You're not useless. You're one of the strongest trainers here. All right, let's try this again. Let's try flower trick. I don't know what typing you are now. It's just a mystery to me. And a critical hit doesn't do much here. And it flinched. Okay, here's our chance to try some different stuff. Let's do dark pulse. That was super effective. Okay, we can work with that. Terra Starstorm coming back in though. So if dark is, oh no, super effective against it. It does, you know, sort of narrow down what it could be. Now Z for Terrasalize your Pokemon so it shines once more. I will try. I guess my Terrasalization is back. Let's try Flower Trick once again. I don't know if it'll do as much damage this time, but we have to find out. Come on. This is so intense. Here it comes. Will it erase the shield? It will! Awesome! It's gonna take our Terrasal energy once more and probably build another shield, but we're more than halfway through. is proving to be really difficult. It's absorbed the Terrasal energy yet again? Surely you can't keep doing that over and over though. Kiki, Zebra's in trouble, you need to help him. But, but I, I can't, I can't help anyone. It's time to prove yourself wrong. Let's do it together. Come on, you can do it. That's my friend. That's what we want to see. He's ready. Let's get going. And we got Hydrapple here, whoa. Okay, so. Hydrapple goes evasive in this spell. This is our chance to make something happen. Whoa. So we just need to hold off for a little bit until we have our terrestrialization again. Okay, I'll help out too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. I'm trying. So we can't Terrasalize just yet, but we'll try Dark Pulse again, just to see if that'll work. Come on, will that be super effective? It won't be. Whoa, not good. Oh, there goes Masquerada. Not good at all. We still have a lot of Pokemon left. That if they can survive, we'll be all right. Syrup Bomb, whoa, not bad. That's super effective. What is Syrup Bomb as a type? I don't know. Drop it goes to Speed Fell. Let's go ahead and try, I guess, Floatzel for now. The evolution of my favorite Pokemon, Bleasel. Come on, battle. I can't Terrasalize just yet, but maybe we can do Ice Punch. It didn't do much, not very effective. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about terrestrializing Floatzel then. Uh, ouch. Ooh, that really hurt. Not good, Syrup Bomb coming in now. That does do a little bit more. Okay, Floatzel's healing up. And of course, Something's happening there. Let's try Wave Crash. I'm not gonna Terrasalize just yet because I'm a little bit worried. So what happens if I get rid of this shield? Oh, even that's not very effective. I'm not liking to look at this. I think we should probably just switch Pokemon as soon as we can. Dragon Cheer. Whoa. Floatzel's getting pumped. I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it'll be fine, but I just don't wanna risk it. Oh. We might not have to risk it for much longer. Floatzel is about to get knocked out. Okay, we might as well try. I'll terrestrialize Floatzel and just try to hit you with the ice. Come on. Battle, terrestrialize, ice punch. Maybe just it simply being terrestrialized is enough? I guess we'll see. I'm a little doubtful. We can just find a way to clear out this shield. Come on. Will this do much? 
Uh, not all the way. It's still not very effective, but I can still hit a couple of those. The body press, that was interesting. Terra Star Storm. Coming back in again. And unfortunately, I think that's gonna be enough. Ooh, you had a knockout float, so it's super effective against you, so that's unfortunate. I should have saved it. I just, I mean, it's a decent little chunk. So what are you, in terms of typing? I don't know. Uh, Cause Dark didn't do well against it. Ice and water. Uh, I might just wanna try Wink alone here. We're running on a Pokemon. If this doesn't go super well, I might just have to use some like, you know, revive items or something. Okay, you're sending out Dragonite. That can make a difference too. So, let's just try Headbutt for now. It's something. Thunder coming in too. Whoa, that was super effective. Okay, good to know. Whoa, that could be good to keep in mind. If it is weak to lightning, then I think we should just, oh boy, withstand this as much as we possibly can and then just use a full revive, a max revive on Palmon. Here we go. That makes a difference for sure. And then hopefully a dragon I can keep damaging you down. This is where Kieran would be such a huge sort of proponent. It couldn't move because it was paralyzed. This is a good chance once again just to heal another Pokemon. So uh, bag, max revive. This time I go for Meowskarada. What was that noise? Something like exploded. Come on, Dragonite using that thunder again. We're so close to getting rid of this one and they won't even have like a, a Terra ability to seal this time. So what will happen? I don't know, we'll have to find out. I think I'm just gonna straight up attack here this time. Headbutt, all in. It was a tiny little bit of damage. Thunder coming in too. That's what we wanna see, super effective. Terra Star Storm one more time. I think we can handle this one. I don't know about uh, Dragonite though. Okay, Dragonite's still holding on. Here we go, if we both attack here, it'll be enough to defeat the shield. Okay. And the thunder still comes in too. So what happens now? The shield breaks, but they don't have any more terrestrial energy to take, right? And they still do it anyways, okay, whatever. So what typing are you now? Or maybe you don't have the shield? It's hard to tell. It looks like it can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. I definitely will. So I think this is where we go to our bag, not our bag, we, we switch our Pokemon. I will try Meowskarada for now. Come on. Now Scarada's hopping out now. And I think that a uh, Dragon Dragonite will attack. Ooh, that's still super effective though. So I guess we should have tried Palmot, but it's okay. Terra Star Storm's coming in. Good. Ooh, Dragonite's almost out for the count. Here we go. Flower trick against Terrapagos. It's the least a guaranteed critical. Super effective or not, this might still do the trick. Come on, before this whole place crumbles in on us. Ooh, one last attack to finish you off the flower trick. Here we come. There it goes, it's super effective. All right. So with that done, It's back to normal. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. But yours is broken. That means, I know I can count on you, Zebra. You got this, I don't know what I clicked. I didn't really mean to, I was trying to go through the text. Uh, I guess this might be where I should use my master ball. Why not, I have two of them. This is our chance. Can we catch you with the master ball? Here we go. Come on. Awesome, we did it. There it goes, Terrapagos was caught.
But will it stay in the ball this time? It broke out before. Is, is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine, don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I, I messed up too. I looked at the zebra for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. You're really cool too. And more than that, you shouldn't try to be me because you make a perfectly awesome Kieran. No matter how hard I try, I'll never be Kieran. Just in the same way that you won't be me. But, but I just, aw. No, oh, poor Kieran, Whoa! I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. <laughs> all right, well, I guess, you know, they are related after all. Oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shone so, so, or shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our zebra even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Uh, they're still crying. All right. We've made it back to Blueberry Academy. Woo, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch that. I need a, a public, a something, I don't know. Hey, Zebra. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology including you, Zebra. So, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I wanna make things right. So, do you think, we could start over from zero and be friends again? Of course. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. All right, friend, let's go catch up. And just like that, things are the way they should be. That was so sweet. I'm glad we could find a way to help Kieran in the end. And there we go. That was our adventure through Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero.